Alright, we good now? By the way, did my category change or do I need to redo it? My friend is a big Trails fan. That, Hi, that's probably I'm Nancy what it Drew. Was. This is my center of vibe. Okay, Nancy Drew. We are trying to find out. Oh, plagiarism, right? Right. We're doing little things around. All these girls are also forcing me to do their homework for them. The Nancy Drew games. I used to love them as a kid. Same, same. We've been playing them too. Categories, right? Okay, thank you. All right, so the next, the recent black cat sighting was she thinks somebody, she thinks the black cat did something to her paper uh, because she is going, probably going to be expelled for plagiarism, but she said she promised that she didn't do that. So we're going to try to figure out why or like how to prove that she, her paper wasn't plagiarized. So don't know how we're going to do that, but... Reminder for your first day curfew hours for seniors begins at 11 p.m. Oh, okay. All right. I probably need to go to the room then. What time should I wake up? Uh, you get one credit for enhancing the school website. Right. Right. Forcing is a strong word. You're volunteering to do their homework? Sure. Yeah, we're volunteering. That's what it is. Mm. Can't check that off yet. Let me see what I what else I need to do. That's done. Okay, I finally finished taking photos of all the girls. Man, I liked my photos. The photos I took were the best. Haven't done. I that. think it's dumb that they didn't let me take the photos my way, man. I'm mad at that. Correctly. Did that. Okay. Haven't done that. Lay out the meet the candidates webpage. All right, that's what we have to do. But we have to do it her way. Otherwise, it's cheating, even though I'm doing it. This is so dumb. Ask Mel what the deal is about the text about her being busted did for that. plagiarism. We did that. So now we have to try, we have to figure out how to prove that she didn't plagiarize her paper. Jump on the computer in the library, go to papertrail.edu, blah, blah, blah. I can't think I can do that now. Oh look, I crumbled it up. What the heck? What do I do now? Should What's I talk up to me? her? Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. I'd like Let's to be find truthful. it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Any idea why it would be missing? There's a missing Somebody book. Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. That doesn't make any sense. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Wait, the book that's missing is called I'll the black in cat? Enjoy. Okay. She's a horse girl. The old games were so finicky and you could get locked often. Wait, for which games? This looks so much cleaner than the other games I've seen you play. Oh my god, yeah, the older ones, yeah. You can get soft locked. There's only one game you could get soft locked in. Or at least one day one game I got soft locked in. Um yeah, that game was so frustrating. I was so mad. Because <laughs> I tried so hard to get it to work. Um, but yeah, these are these are older, though. It's dark, and I've never climbed this thing before. Talk about your recipes for disaster. Oh my god, I literally thought she just... I think I've... Oh my god, I just thought she just like... Oh god! No! Why did she want to climb the tree? Oh my god, I just died. It's All right. dark and I've never climbed this thing before. Talk okay, about your recipes for disaster. Yeah, let's not climb. I don't really know oh. where I'm going. Climbing this tree is probably not a good idea. Yes, go back. Okay, oh, that'd be good. Oh! Ooh, can I, is she asleep? Oh, she's sleeping. 
Oh my god, Nancy, freaking just climb out the window. <laughs> what the heck? We can't snoop through her stuff? Dang it, I guess not. How do I sleep? How do I, like, go to the... How do I sleep in the bed? How do I sleep? Do I like set an, oh, here we go. Maybe we set an alarm. All right, what time's a good time to wake up? Like seven in the morning? Oh, that's how you sleep. What was that? Everything's all right. Just go back to sleep. Anyone who leaves her room gets five demerits. Whoa, what happened? Who screamed? What happened? Who was screaming? That doesn't sound all right. No, it doesn't. What in the world? What was What's that? up, Rumi? She I better get going. She's not gonna talk Bye. on the screen. Later. Does she not hear it? All right, let's let's go figure out who screamed. It's already open. I'm here. I love how she tells me that their rooms are already open. What's the word? I'll quit bugging you. Nobody's Doors gonna talk open. about the scream? Also, if I had those goggles for Blacksmith Day yesterday, oh, fantastic. Another scream in the middle of the night in Val? Ken Hall? Who keeps doing that and why? Oh, so at least that person knows that there was screaming. <laughs> So wait, this happens every night? Girls just get up and scream? Locked. Izzy mm. must be somewhere else. What? I can't talk now. Nobody's gonna talk to me about the freaking screaming? <laughs> what? What about her? Not now, please. What the heck? The head mistress lady never wants to talk to me. I would, wait, that is punishment. Wait, what is punishment? Sorry, I saw a spider, what? I would too if I had to deal with those girls. <laughs> there could be a murder going on, but demerits are scarier apparently. Yeah, I know, right? All right, maybe we talk to Izzy. This girl, maybe, sh did she How's scream? It going? Oh. What do you think about Mel and that Nobody plagiarism wants to talk about charge? Scream. I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. Wow, so she says that that girl really did I'll plagiarize. I'm telling you, time. every single girl hates the other. <laughs> oh, except Mel and my roommate, they like each other. And then Izzy and, oh, I forgot the other girl's name. Izzy and Leela were roommates and they were close until Izzy stole Leela's boyfriend. <gasps> Do you think I'm joking? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. That's what happens in these Nancy Drew games. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Numeral systems through the ages. Oh, this teaches us. Oh my God, this teaches us Roman numerals. Oh, see, so remember that picture that I had you guys help me figure out? Ah, uh, that's what this is. Where are, we play Final Fantasy games. We're an expert already. We're already an expert at Roman numerals, right chat? All right, so what do I have to do? I need to, oops, wrong one. Jump on the computer, go in the library, uh, go to papertrail.edu under resources. Try to track down the person who posted the paper Mel supposedly plagiarized. All right, where's resources? Oh, resources. Oh wait, what? Papertrail.edu. Oh, what? Oh, this is paper trail. Enter database source number. Oh, okay. Uh, matching text found each instance highlighted and assigned data source number by PT. All matching text came from a single source. All right, I guess I have to like put these numbers in. 3043. Oh, I'm not gonna remember all of this. Wait, should we just do the one that hits the most maybe? Ooh. 
Oops. Stop it. Should we do the one that is repeated? I feel like... Mm, are any of them repeated? Oops. Hmm. Which number should I try then? Hi, Bailey. Good morning. The scream was just Nancy's attempt at tree climbing. <laughs> I don't think that was this. I don't think that was it. Hi, Yase. Plagiarize. Now it's written by AI. I don't, I don't, man, poor teachers nowadays. I don't know how they're going to prove that it was AI or not. Um, unless they like have you write out the paper in the middle of class. Well, I guess I need to go one by one. All right, guys. Can y'all write down these numbers so I can easily put these in the database? <laughs> can somebody write out 3043.624.1? Same with these. I'll just keep it up for a little bit. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm assuming that's what I have to do, right? Like, I don't... None of these numbers match. I guess it says all matching text came from a single source. His paper was plagiarized. So I guess we have to figure that out. I had to write a 10 page essay in college. That was a nightmare. Yeah, I've had, yeah, that's the, we were talking about this yesterday, how this is kind of the reason I'm really happy that I'm not in school anymore because having to write these 10, 15, 20 page papers, it's like, why? Or actually, I knew why, but like, it was like one of the things I really hated about school because I hated writing. By the way, I don't know if I said hi, Ice King, but hi. Alright, let me try 3043.624.1. Data source number found. View poster IP. Am I going to have to write this down? Oh, return data error. Last five combination sequences. Wait, what? Wait, what? What do I do? I have to like figure out the IP address? Uh, 69. I don't know. How do you do this? How do you, how, she would, I think she explained it, but I couldn't keep track of what she said because she said it so fast. Uh, whoops. Wait, was, is her paper supposed to help me maybe? I don't know. Do y'all have any idea? I can call Ned. <laughs> Ask him. He'll, he'll probably know what to do. How many Nancy Drew games do you have left to play? Uh, I would say like over 10 maybe. Maybe over 10. There's a lot of games. Uh, Alright, let's go out. Let's see if we can call Ned. A.K.A. our boyfriend. Ned. Maybe he'll know what to do. Hi, what's up? All Let's the seniors here get assigned weekly work study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Milk Sharpening money. Pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss. I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and like kids this. snack orders. <laughs> if oh, I don't do, do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. Yeah. I also like not even a real student. <laughs> conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. The school administration has accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. Here we go. Even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. You believe her? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. think I do. I do. She seemed really, really upset. Maybe she's just a good actress. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. And you can never have too many of those, can you? Do you think this hint's gonna be about the paper? I could use a hint. Hints are my middle name. 
Oh, here we go, here we go. When I went to check out Mel's paper on Paper Trail, something happened and the IP address that showed up got scrambled, and I'm having trouble figuring out what it is. The address has ten digits. Remember that, and the fact that none of the digits repeat, and your troubles will soon be over. Okie dokie. Thanks, Ned. You're the best. Oh, so none of them have to repeat. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. So none of them can repeat. I think, I think I vaguely remember her saying that. I just forgot. Take Ned's number down, chat, in case you ever need... Oh, if you ever need help, Ned's got you. <laughs> I wonder if that number is, like, actually, like, a number. So if you act, if you call somebody, somebody's going to answer. And they'll be like, I'm not Ned! <laughs> All right, so it can't repeat. All right, so let's just do the first... These, okay, these can't work since there's too many fours and sixes. So let's try 31... 8, 46, 65, no, 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 hmm, all right, maybe 207, oh, there's a zero. Oh, this, oh, what about this? Wait, did he say there was a number, 20, oh, four, five, five, five numbers are fake, oh, 207, 8, 46, 3, what about this one? Dang, it didn't work. Um, what about, uh, let's see, maybe 182, mm, 263, mm, 7, mm, mm, can't do this one because this has another two. Hmm. Um. Maybe one four nine two six three. Dang, I don't know. No, this has a one and a three, so that doesn't work. If y'all see it, let me know. <laughs> we could do 31. Okay, we need to change the three. Maybe, no, we can't do that. Maybe 98? 31, 98. Uh, 46. And... Mm, no, 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 dang it. Yeah, not repeating in the same position. Yeah, like no number can repeat at the end. So it has to be used once. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't work, though. So. Why don't we start from here then? Let's start at like, let's start at 245. So 245... Um, no, it could be 109 or 7. So let's try 109. Yeah, the whole IP address. At least I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's correct then. No. 2, no. 57? 57, 57 would, no, wouldn't work. Dang. Okay, so I don't think it's 245. Let's try 3. So 3. Oh, all of these could work. <laughs> Mmm, no, this would work. All right, let's see, 149, no, 31, no, two, no, 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 that doesn't work either. All right, let's try seven. Oh, you got it, 69873. Dang, that didn't work. All right, 69, 57, 284, 103. Ooh, that looks good. If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in. 
Which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Oh yeah, her boyfriend's name was Jacob. Ooh. How's it going? Apparently someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized Thank her you. own paper. Good job. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Yeah, but don't forget. Until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. Dang, is he? <laughs> I need to get going. Adios. She's trying to side it. All right. All right, let's go talk to let's go talk to Izzy then. Hey, what's going on? It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me. Oh, I didn't wow. know it had to be all of them either. Izzy's My already bad. Got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. That is true. It could have been Izzy saying, "Mmm." Oh, he would have been dating you when it happened. The thing is, oh, he would have still been dating you when it happened. Like that means anything. The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. That is true. I'll let you go. That Hang is true. There. She has a point. She has a point. I just assumed I didn't know for sure. Okay, either. everybody. Snack I need to, do the, need to do the snack shop. Otherwise, I'm going to get a demerit. All right, bread, I lettuce. I just heard that Ms. Lambert asked Mr. Harris out for coffee. And I just heard he turned her down. Oh, shoot, really? Food's ready. All Toasted sudden, bacon. She try using brown mascara instead of black, and she totally wigged out. Milk, apple, cookie. Can you imagine having a nice fresh cookie? Oh, I would love that for like a snack. Meat, there's a lot of meat. Food's ready. Got orange, chocolate bar. Some of these snacks are depressing though. <laughs> That it? Come get your order. Okay, got water, orange, chip, cheese, and meat. Order's ready. <laughs> I like this little mini game. Granola. Food's ready. Oh, I'm not getting a teacher one. What the heck's going on? Lettuce, tomato, cheese, tomato. There, all done. All done. <laughs> Is there anything in here that I need? All right, who do we need to talk to now? We Oh, we need to go tell Mel. Let's go tell Mel the good news. Come on in. You used to play Cookie Mama, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Fresh cookies would almost make living with those girls worth it. It really would, wouldn't it? Hi, DJ. Good morning. All right, let's go tell her the good Greetings news. Greetings once again. Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah? Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. <gasps> What a surprise. Whoa, Nancy hey, dropping I got names. Something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Oh, shoot. Anything else going on? Oh, shoot. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. 
All right, let's read this thing that she gave me. Waverly Ravens brings home all school Odyssey championship. Our own Waverly Ravens swept the competition to win the coveted all school Odyssey championship trophy last Saturday at Oxboro Preparatory. The tournament with topics that run the gam gamut from literature to science is the ultimate in academic competitions with over 100 schools part participating this year. This is the first major academic win for Waverly Academy. The Ravens have finished in second place for the past eight years. We knew this was our year to finally break through and take home the trophy, said history teacher and team coach, Miss Sarah Donnell. Uh, with extra study groups, practice debates, and several mock quiz bowls throughout the fall, the team was prepared to tackle any challenge at this year's competition. This year's gold medal team members were seniors Tara Moore, Evelyn Corbelis, and Donna Mingles, and juniors Eleanor Pinvelin and Rosemary Ivy. I don't know any of those people. Okay, what was the point of reading that? I'm not making the connection here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nancy's like trying to stir the pot. It's entertaining. What's up, Mimi? I'll let you get back to your paper. All right, Enjoy. let's see what else I need to do. That's done. Did that. Can't check. Oh that yeah, off I need yet. to do the page right. All right, let's go back to the library. Can't check that off yet. Time to do Rachel's homework for her. All right, which, this page? Oh, here we go, okay. Oh no, it's one of these puzzles, <laughs> oh no. Each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot, Boston, New York, art and math. Put Izzy and Mel as far apart as possible. Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose bio, but somewhere before Izzy. Do not place roommates side by side. Megan's from Concord and loves history. Mel uses the speed to, to wait, Mel used to spend summers visiting Leela's RI home. The girls who enjoy English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who picked math. The biology and psych students are roommates. Rachel, who loves math, is from Pittsburgh. What are these type of puzzles called? I always hated these puzzles. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we need, like, all right, we need one of each. We need place, girl, and then subject. So each column has at least one. So let's try this first. Let's try Megan, third spot. Wait, hold on. Each column contains only one. Third spot. All right. Boston, New York, art, and math. All right, so... <laughs> All right, Izzy and Mel need to be as far apart as possible. Okay, so let's put Izzy here and then Mel here. So Izzy and Mel have to either be one or six, I guess. Hi, Locus. Puzzling Puzzles, that's the name of it? Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose bio bi biology, but somewhere before Izzy. Okay, so Izzy needs to be here then. Okay, Izzy needs to be number six. Um, so Corrine, I don't know who chose biology, so we'll just put biology here. Um, and then maybe here? I don't know, just guessing. Do not place roommates side by side. All right, so roommates, Izzy and Leela are roommates. So I think Rachel has to go here and Leela has to go here, but none of the other ones are roommates, so. Oh, wait, Megan and Mel were roommates, but they aren't anymore. Does that count? Here, I'll just switch it just in case. Uh, Megan is from Concord and loves history. Okay, so Megan loves history. Okay, so we're going to have to move biology. All right, I 
had to switch these up. So, because so Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose biology, but somewhere before Izzy, so that's right. Uh, Megan Oak Concord. So, I guess. Okay, let's see. Megan, third spot, Boston. New York, I don't know if that's right. Okay, anyways, at least we know Megan is from Concord and loves history. Mel uses used to spend summers visiting Leela's RI home. What's the point of that information? Oh, Leela, Leela is from, oh, Newport. Okay, so she can't be from Boston. So here, maybe? Yeah, Rhode Island. Um, the girl who enjoys English is from Boston. Okay. Darn it. This the this first one is like throwing me throwing me in a loop. <laughs> um hmm. Okay. Well, Boston and Art can't be together anyways, so... And it can't be in three. Hmm. Rachel is picture two. Oh, why do you think Rachel is picture two? I don't know why, what they mean by third spot. I Yeah, I don't understand by third spot either. I guess it's its own thing. Master Rob, good morning. Thank you for the 35 months. Hello. Um, I don't know what to do with this Boston one. Corrine is English. It's That's very possible. Yeah, but, but she's also from Boston. I don't think Boston can be in the third spot. Right? She's immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the girl who picked math. Okay, so I guess math has to be over here. <laughs> the biology and psych students are roommates. Oh, that's that's good. Leela and Izzy are roommates. That works. Um Rachel, who loves math. Oh, that's what you mean by it. Okay, Rachel loves math. Oh, but then that, that makes this wrong. Ah! Rachel is from Pittsburgh, though, so at least we know this. Okay. <laughs> now we just gotta fix it. <laughs> Rachel's in the wrong spot. Okay, I think you're right. So Rachel needs to be... Maybe here. We'll just switch these, maybe. Um, I Izzy and Mel have to be on the ends. I don't Izzy and Mel can either be one or six. Because they have to be put as far apart as possible. So at least we know Mel and Izzy are those. So Rachel, since she loves math, that means the girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before, oh, before the girl who loves history and after the one who picked math. Oh, but somewhere after. So Corey doesn't have to be number three. She could be five, which I think that would make sense. Hold on. And I say that because Megan, there's, it says each column contains only one. So Megan, Third spot, Boston, art, and then math. So I think this is correct, but something else probably is not correct. So let's see. Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose biology. Oh. So is Corrine number three then? Yeah, Leela and Izzy can't be next to each other because they are roommates, yeah. English has to be before history. Okay, let's let's swap out. Maybe this is it. Hmm. 
The girl who enjoys English is from Boston is immediately before the girl who loves history and somewhere after the girl who picked math. Okay, so this is correct at least. Biology and psych students are roommates. Biology. Yeah, Leela and Izzy are roommates. Rachel loves math and is from Pittsburgh. What are we missing here? Are we missing anything? We could be right. Megan is from Concord. Do not place roommates side by side. All right, are there any roommates that are side by side? Mel is a roommate with me or Megan, so that they're not. Izzy and Leela are not. Rachel doesn't have a roommate, I don't think. I don't know who Corrine is. So maybe Corrine was Rachel's roommate, but isn't anymore. You think that's right now? I think this looks good. Okay, it might just be, oh wait, oh, we need to put their pictures. Oh, uh, Mel, Rachel, Leela, I guess that's Corrine. No, this is Megan. Wait. Oh, wait, this is, sorry. I got it confused. That's Mel. She's Corrine. That's Megan. Right? There we go. <laughs> Did I do it right? N Nancy Drew didn't say anything, but she hasn't been, so maybe it's okay. All right. That should do it. Oh, I hope. There we go. All right. Did that? Did that? Did that finish? Did that? Did that work? Oh, it worked. Good job, guys. All right. Let's go tell Rachel that we finished her homework for her. <laughs> Clap, 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 clap. It's not locked. How about that? This door's not Becca, locked. Nice job on the layout. Thank you. What's next? How about that? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Are you Here's kidding me? They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, I want to punch this Rachel girl in the face. Wood inlaid school emblem, entry arch to Waverly... U.S. map with handcrafted wooden states. First academic win trophy. Courtyard oak tree. That one's easy. Rita Hollowell and Usher. Is the Usher the name of her cat? Oh, my God. Her cat's name is Usher. Usher, Usher. Um, okay. All right. Upload them like before. I'll check them when they're up. And if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. Well, good luck with your papers. Hi, <laughs> Usher. He performed at the halftime show. <laughs> when you look at that. <gasps> what was that? Did y'all see that? Am I going crazy? Tell me somebody saw that. That's not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. New girl lost her luggage on way from France. That's me. You looked away? Y'all didn't see that? I, I swear I saw... Hold on. I swear I saw something. It was like right here. I don't know if the picture changed or something. Oh my god. It's like message on a haunted mansion. I could swear that the picture changed. Somebody go back. Maybe I'm just crazy. Also, I need to go use the restroom, and Nancy needs to, needs to use the restroom. When you, need it. you didn't see it? You don't see anything? Wait, the clip doesn't show? He performed at the halftime show. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't anything. Okay, never mind. I guess I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I swear I thought I saw something. Dang it. All right. I'm going crazy. It's confirmed. 
It's confirmed. Also, did these girls like steal my luggage? Oh, no, 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 no. I just didn't come with luggage. Okay. All right, we need to go take all these po photos of this stuff. Check. All right. So let's go take a photo of the tree. We can do that at least. Okay. I think this is a good photo of the tree, right? Oops. That's a good photo, right? Of the tree? You don't think they're gonna be picky, right? <laughs> we just crazy then. Only thing I can think of is there's two paintings on the walls and when you moved forward, you see it change. Oh, maybe. Also, my monitor is not the cleanest, so maybe, <laughs> maybe that, that happened. Uh, wait, what else do I, don't I need to take a photo of this? Hold on, let's see. Wood inlaid school emblem. Oh, entry arch to Waverly. So this is what we have to take a photo of. Okay. Right? Where would the wood thing be? Why is it pointing this way? Is there anything I can click this way? I don't want to leave just yet. How about this gazebo? Can I not go that way? Ooh. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Wait. Wait. Oh. Right click and drag left or right to rotate it. How do you rotate? Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Oh no. I think we have to fill this all in. <laughs> no. Um Let's see. Maybe here. No. No. <laughs> I hear that darn crow. No. No. <laughs> that doesn't work. Hmm. Take it again. Its eyes aren't in the shot. What eyes aren't in the shot? What eyes? She isn't looking at the camera. <laughs> oh, I don't like puzzles like this. Oh, you're kidding? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna back out and redo. Okay, okay. So this is where they normally are. So let's try this one in this corner. Let's try to like rotate it. Or like put them in the opposite corners. Maybe. Um, the only problem is I don't know what, like, angle. <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> um, let's try... No, that wouldn't work. What about th this way? No, that doesn't work either. It has to be, like, this. But that doesn't look right. <laughs> Okay, what about mm, this? No. Do you think I'm missing a piece? Ooh, what about this? Well, maybe they are supposed to overlap. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. That's literally the same thing that I made. <laughs> no. 
keep them in the same corners. Okay, keep them in the same corners. Just rotate differently. Okay. <laughs> is this this is training for a blacksmith game? <laughs> um Mm. No, oh, oh, that doesn't look right, but maybe it could be. Oh, 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 oh my God, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. Well, hey, little guy. <gasps> What's up? What are you doing? Oh! Hey! Come back here! Come back here, you stupid squirrel! He Frickin must have squirrel. some kind of nest up there. What a thief. You thief! What's this? Hollowell. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. Um, I do not wish to forget, but others must before the day comes when it is safe to be recognized for what I have done. <laughs> She's a genius. <laughs> yeah. Uh, over a decade has passed, yet I continue to feel as if someone were watching, about to expose me from the villainous I in some ways am. Poor Usher, my beautiful cat, is my sole comfort, but he continues to dislike our new home. Even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calms him unless accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. Okay, so we need some kind of lamp and some piano. First low bass and then color, col coloratura. Interesting. This feels like I would gaslight myself. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, experience has shown and a true philosophy will always show that a vast, perhaps the larger portion of the truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. The mystery of Mari Bogut. So this is information about a crow. Okay. Indeed, a day spent afield. Sketching a beautiful raven has allowed me to discover this for myself. Its cousin, the crow, is not nearly as no as noble a creature but how to tell the two apart from a distance close observation of the wedge tail large bill shaggy breast ruff and elegantly long primary feathers lead to a wondrous conclusion reconstruction of these united of these united states will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion but that is a subject for an altogether different classroom would she talk about a raven and then all of a sudden the united states the heck Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow, he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. The Raven. To have known Edgar Allan Poe is to have known genius. Though it's now obvious, I shall never be the writer I long ago imagined. I would someday become. I have found all the place I need in his writings so that I scarcely notice as my dreams depart one by one with a celebratory di dinner an elegant nine course meal served with perfect etiquette i bid the last of them farewell years come and go yet the past remains a constant undimming shadow and so i have assembled a group and charged it with i'll bet unwilling unwittingly protecting and preserving my hidden treasure behind the dupin grate the black woods chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. I can do nothing more. Rita Hollowell. Other poor other poor stories. Uh, that made no sense to me, but... Oh, is it Solus? Oh, it looked like a P. Solus, you're right. Sorry. Solus. Not splice. <laughs> I was like, what? 
Uh, I wonder if Rita is related to Gary Hollowell. Could be the Spice Girls ancestors. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck, Adam? Um, so hold on. It looks like there's a hidden treasure somewhere behind a dupin grate, but I don't know what a dupin or duoin. Dup no, that's a P, right? Yeah, dup yeah, dup yeah, definitely P. Dupin grate, but I don't know where the grate is. The Blackwoods chant. I don't know. Anyways, to get her cat, we need to, um, I guess turn on his favorite lamp and then play a piano song. And then I guess this is a hint. So anyways, also we need to get that darn squirrel. Freaking squirrel, man. The freaking squirrel. No wonder we have to... No, oh, that's it. No wonder we have to climb the tree. But how the heck are we going to climb the tree? Nancy Drew just falls. You freaking squirrel. I can't reach. If I want to go after that squirrel, I'm going to have to find another way to get up into this tree. Also, okay. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, is there any other photos we can take? I don't know where the wood inlaid school emblem is. And then this map. Was the map down here? I think the map was down here. Right? Or am I crazy? No, and I guess, where was the map? United States map. The thing that the squirrel took, I think that's what this symbol is. So when we get the squirrel's thing back, Or take the thing from the squirrel that he's so... He took. Oh, I think that's what the United States thing is I'm thinking of. Anyways, then we can do that puzzle, but we can't do that yet. What is this? No? Okay. Where was the map? Where is the map? Do y'all remember where the map is? Also, how do we turn the light on? Hmm. Oh, the map. The map's in there. Oh, I see it. But how the heck do we get in there? Huh. Um, and then they said something about first academic win trophy. I'm thinking this is the first academic win. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's the first academic win. Because, right? That's what this is, right? I'm thinking so. Break the window and open the door. Borrow a ladder you built yesterday. <laughs> Usher is not actually named for the post story. He really is named after the R&B pop star. That is true. Yeah, and indeed. That's exactly it. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Uh, should we try to look for the wood inlaid school emblem? What is what is the what does the school emblem even look like? Is it is it that? That is it this? I can't, I can't like look at it better. Okay, maybe I need to back up. But this is on the way. Oh, on the floor? Oh, wait, can I take a photo of it? You think the, fl the floor? Hmm. I can try it. Doesn't hurt. It's not like we have limited amounts, you know. Uh, Dignitas in something, the other sign. Oh, this? I think that, I took a photo, I took a photo of this, but I think that would be the, um, entry arch to Waverly. I think that's what that is. But the wood and lane school emblem is... Oh, do you mean that 
Oh, this is the emblem. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, well, what the heck is that? Oh, wait, maybe I can take a photo, a better photo now? Hold on, let's see. I don't know. I feel like that would be good. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe in the library? Is there anything in the library we need to take a photo of? Hmm. <laughs> it has no eyes, though. <laughs> um. Hmm. All right, what else? We can't take a photo of this yet. Um, can't go in that one room. Oh, maybe we can ask, like, how to get in that one room. How's it going? Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. Let me ask. Let me ask other girls questions. Maybe that. Maybe they can help me. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Hmm. Which one should I do? Chat, scram or air hockey? Scram is the uh, dart one and air hockey... Well, obviously air hockey is air hockey. Did we find what that key was for that we got the last time? I think that was that key was for the basement. I think it was for the basement. So we oh, we unlocked it. We unlocked the basement. Air hockey? Air okay. hockey. Excellent. Point. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. This is fun though. I actually really like that this one is for a the game. Good guys. <laughs> Why is there always that one person who won't share info unless Nancy beats them at a game? I know, right? Freaking sakes. Oh, yes. shoot. I call foul. <laughs> Air hockey, old mall memories for me. At least this is the annoyance of Scopa. Oh, Scopa. <laughs> he hated Scopa. <laughs> Freaking get in the, there you go. I like this game. One of these air hockey games, I want to make it so that she can't even get a single score. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to assume I have to do this multiple times. Am I the only one person who likes Scopa? I think so. <laughs> I think it was just, it needed to be more clear that I, I don't even think I had to beat that one game. You know what I mean? And I think, I think I would have liked it if I had known I didn't need to do it again. <laughs> because that one was just like so unfair. Nice. Yeah, I did it. There's the menu. Thank you. 
Is that Scopa? Is that Scopa? Celebratory dinner, oysters. Need anything else? Okay. I better get going. Why Bye. do I need this? Why do I need this? What do I need this for? What does that say? I can't read that. Ter terrapin, filet of beef, sorbet, roast spring chicken, cheese, vanilla ice cream, sugared oranges, coffee. That sounds great. But like, what? what is this for? I just have to like put this back. Wait, I don't even have the key. I said, I don't think we need it. Do we really need it? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Oh God, I have so much to check off. That's done. Can't check that off yet. To be on the lookout for the photo of Rita Hollow on her cat. That's done. Figure out how to get a close of that square inset in the. Oh, we already fixed that. Yeah. See what's stashed in that cornerstone I managed Did that. to open. We can't do that yet from the squirrel. Read the journal. That's done. See if there's a book or something around here that says what the letters and numbers on those lampshades mean. That's done. Uh, they could be the key, as it were, to playing the piano rendition Hollowell mentioned. Wait, I, f I found a book? There's a book or something around here that says there's what the letters and numbers on those lampshades mean? Wait, where? There was a book? Ask Mel for the music theory book she borrowed from the library. Oh. I guess... Oh. Okay. Find a way to get in the Still loft classroom. Look for a way to learn more about what people back in Rita Hollow's time, the Victorian area, consider to be perfect etiquette. Check. How do I know all this? Clancy. That's done. Oh, a celebratory dinner was from this. There it is. Uh, I have found all the place, uh, or solace I need in his writings, so that I scarcely notice, um, I choose part one by one, with a celebratory dinner, an elegant nine course meal served with perfect etiquette, I bid the last of them farewell. So I guess it's just like, it, this is like a hint for things, or something. Haven't done that. Ask Rachel if I can borrow the book on Victoria and Dine, and she checked down the library. Okay, I guess all of this information was on the computer. Did that. That's done. See in what order the foods on that menu was Did served. that. Okay. All right, well, hold the phone, Nancy. Jeez Louise. How do we see all these books that people checked out? The, li the library catalog? So it was like this, right? Oh, is this how we found out? Cause I just scrolled through all of this. Hold on. Etiquette. Maybe? There, oh, it shows it. Oh, so we had to like look this up, okay. But I guess I already saw it. <laughs> uh, the right fork for the Demetria Espunzia. Espunzia? Do. Ra Rachel Hubbard. So that's how we know Rachel has that book. Okay, okay. And we knew Leela had, Leela had the menu. Um, yeah, see? There you go. Perfect etiquette. Hold on. Perfect etiquette. But <coughs> Bless me. Okay, hmm. I guess, I guess by typing Victorian, formal Victorian diet, I guess that's what it is. Um, how about piano? There it is. 
Musical notation piano. Yeah, that's how we knew Mel had the piano book. Okay, okay. All right, got it. I just, I guess, <laughs> I, <laughs> I hacked the game to make it think that I knew what I was doing. Um, all right, so let's go to Rachel and Mel and ask them about the books. Bless me, thank you. I have been blessed. I'm here. What's the word? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies she don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. She winked at me. What's wrong with eating milk and cookies? And letting everybody know about it. The heck? I'll get you milk and cookies, though. That honestly sounds really nice. What? What? Listen, I know what? you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry. I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what. If you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while, and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her. Okay? Sure. Why? One math notebook coming up. That's Great. sus. Suspicious. I better get to work. See ya. Why? That's weird. That was weird. This is a pretty room, though. Are all the rooms? No, not. Well, I don't know. They all decorated them. I'm now here. I want. Right now I want milk and cookies. Got my milk and cookie? Sorry, I got distracted. No milk and cookie, no music theory book. I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. <laughs> sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts, I left it in the library. Oh, that's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. It's almost like she's afraid of you. <laughs> I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. I'd better get going. Sounds good. See, that's odd. That's just odd. I know. Milk and cookies where? I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. I guess I have to, like, do the orders first before I... I just heard Mr. Harris is getting engaged over the holidays. That's why you're bummed. Come on, what do you <laughs> think? You were gonna marry him? Eventually. You are so lame. <laughs> One of the students like to teach Order's me. ready. Tomato meat. I guess I have to wait to do it at the end. I don't know. Apple cookie, toasted bread, granola, orange. Wait, is this it? Food's ready. Uh, lettuce, cheese, lettuce, granola, orange, chocolate bar, milk. I think I made a mistake. Order up. I like how she tells me before I actually do it. Oh, there it is. Milk and cookie. Cookie and milk. Okay, it's at the end. Order up. There, all done. There we go, now we got her milk and cookies. Huh, Chad, I want milk and cookies. Uh. Come on in. How about that? This door's not You've locked. You got my snack, awesome. Here you go. Perfect, thanks. All yours. What else is going on? I'll let you get back to your music. I know, <laughs> cat, milk and a singular cookie, unacceptable. 
I need at least 12, thank you. A whole butt dozen. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Straight to jail. <laughs> Ky mom, Kylie mm. needs some milk and cookies. Yeah, mom, did you hear that? Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, my mom's working. And we also don't have cookies. I have milk though, but no cookies. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, we should save. We haven't saved in a while. Um, what are we doing? Uh, piano, I guess. We're doing quite a bit, actually. All right. Um, Did got that. that. Oh, let's go back to Rachel and give. Oh, wait, no, we have to go to the library. We have to go to the library and find the math notebook or whatever. Where would it be? Do you think Izzy has seen it? How's it going? I'll catch you later. Pop in anytime. All right. Maybe here? Could it be over here? She left it in the library. Where the heck could it be in the library? Maybe here? Hmm. Is it... Mm hmm. There's not many places we can click at in the library, though. Where the heck? Did somebody steal it? Do y'all see it somewhere? I don't see it. Still have to do that. Ask Mel for Rachel. Oh, Check. we did that. Did that. Go to the library and look for Rachel's math notebook. Maybe on the ground. Hi, Diaz. Hello. How are you? Would sue but got my refund. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, that's not good, Fed. I'm sorry. Dang. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where her notebook is. Do y'all see it on the ground? I don't see it anywhere. Um, maybe somebody said where it, it is? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Can we like go behind here? Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Those oh. are Roman numerals. Roman numeral, guys, our favorite. All right, M M D C X L I. All right, and if we forgot, M M. So two thousand, two thousand five hundred, six hundred, two twenty six. What was it? M. Can somebody write this this Roman numeral down for me? Oh. M M D C X L I X X L I. Okay, oops. Okay, so we got two thousand six hundred and ten. Oh wait, X L I. Wait, what happens if an X is before? Oh, forty. Ah, 40. 50 minus 10. L-I. So it's 41. So 2, 6, 4, 1. I think. 2, 6, 4, 1. There's two M's though. See? Two, two M's. 
So let's try two, six, four, one. Ah, we did it. Oh, look at all of this, these goodies. All right, here's our math notebook. Okay, is there anything else in here? Got some gnomes, a bracelet, a bell. Okay, we found it. Wow, I would not have been able to, I would have not known to click on that. Okay, all right. Had I not like just been clicking randomly. All right, we got the notebook. All right, let's go to Rachel. Let's give her her notebook back. What? Someone didn't lock their door. Hey, why does it always Nancy stop it? You've got I my want a library notebook. locker. Oh, That's dope. Take that. Wait, there were library lockers. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. Oh, but then before you said you didn't want to deal with her. Yeah. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. That, she's gaslighting me. That's not what she said at all. Mm, formal Victoria Dining. I gotta get back to we got it. I'll see you later. All right, check off the book. Let's write that. That's done. That's done. Um, check. 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 Okay. All right. See what foods were to be eaten with which utensil according to Victorian etiquette. All right. Do we want to do piano first or do we want to do Victorian etiquette first, chat? Which one should we focus on? We have to do both. What time is it? 4.24. Okay, we're good. We're still good on timing. We don't have to... Nancy has to, and Nancy has a curfew. <laughs> Nancy has a curfew, guys. Gotta make sure we do the curfew. Um, I don't even think we can. So this is the etiquette one, and then the piano is here. Um, but there's like two lamps that have like piano keys on them. And you're right, I do have lunch. Actually, maybe we should pause now get lunch because those milk and cookie things made me really hungry <laughs> all right what was i doing piano were we doing piano i think we're gonna choose piano let's do piano we have to fix we have to figure out this piano puzzle guys all right all right hold on before we do that let's let's look so the goal here is to get <clears throat> i think a photo of her cat and then this, this journal gave us like a clue. It said, even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calms him unless accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. So we have to like do something with a piano. It says first low bass, then coloratura. I don't know what coloratura is, but apparently this, this will teach us something. <clears throat> I had to make this girl some milk and cookies to get this book. All right, chapter chapter four, key notation. Man, there are so many Roman numerals in this game. Mm. As piano is involved to provide increased ranges for composers, the number of keys on the keyboard vary dramatically. To identify individual notes, numerous notation systems were created, several of which are still in use today. One of the most recognized systems is the scientific pitch notation all right so this is we're gonna have to figure out this <laughs> oh god maybe i should just take a photo as referred to as american standard pitch this notation implements a note octave labeling system where the note is shown first and the octave number follows octaves which span from c to b are sequentially numbered on the keyboard the lowest C on the piano is therefore label, labeled C1. <clears throat> okay. Notation can also uh, be used to represent vocal ranges such as those used in German Falk system. <laughs> Developed to classify opera singers. It, oh. 
Oh, it's nighttime now. <laughs> okay, Nancy. Um, ability to perform, blah, 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 for example. Oh, a color Tura Soprano range would be, would go from C4 to F6, while low bass would be able to sing C2 to F4. Oh, here we go. This is what we needed. This is, this is it. This is what we needed. So, coloratura soprano is C4. So, here we go. Middle C. C4 through F6. That's a pretty big range. And then low bass would be C2 to F4. Okay, so it kind of like goes in between. All right, so that's what that meant in terms of first low bass and then coloratura. So we need to do low bass first and then coloratura. All right, here is, oh, the lamps are on. Ah, so, uh, Di, can you do me a favor again and write these things out for me so I can do the piano? Oh God, I feel like this is gonna be still difficult. Okay, thank you, Lulu. Mm. Well, at least the lamp is on. So I guess we had to do this at night. Oh, did you already have them? Oh, perfect. You already had this one. Oh, great. Great. Fantastic. All right. So first is the low bass one. Low bass. Did I say bass? Bass. Um, which means we have to figure out which one would be low bass and which would be color to okay i'm thinking the low bass one okay so d2 a2 b2 d3 f3 a2 okay good now i just have to figure out where the heck those are on the piano <laughs> um i'm gonna take a photo back in my day we couldn't take photos of notes what is that we had a print print screen it we only had one monitor all right Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, I'm thinking that's middle C, I guess. So this is C4, so we need D2. Okay, so is that even enough? Can I, like, play? Oh. So I can play on this side, or I can play on this side. Okay. I suck at reading interpreting music. It's okay. It's, honestly, it's really hard. Okay, so this is C4. So C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. So this C is C3. So that means... So this one's C3. So then this one is C2, I'm thinking. So we need D2. So D2 is here, D, D2, and then A2. A2, <laughs> B2, D3. So we need to go all the way back. Oh, this was A2, okay, B2, okay, D3, just kidding, not all the way back, it's here. This is D3. Gabe. <laughs> F3 uh, is this one. A2, so back here. A2, C2. C2, C. All right, nothing happened, but I don't know if it's supposed, if anything is supposed to happen. They did say do low bass first. So that was low bass. So then next is coloratura. So that's the next one. So E6, that one. All right, um, all right, E6 is, all right, so if this one's middle C, E6 is probably 
Mm, this one, I think. E6, A5, E5, C5, C5, uh, E5, E5, B4, B. B, this is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay, so B, 4, and then C, 5, <laughs> G, 4, C, D, E, F, G, G4, and then C4. Oh, <gasps> we did it! Oh, this is the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the little thing that we need for the basement, but it has a cat on it. Ooh, nice. We did it. We did the puzzle. Granted, I literally just took a photo of the book right that's the only reason why I could even do the keys I don't even know if you can see that but all right also I saw this cat here we go other post story so I guess there's a cat and a moon maybe the other one that the square or the squirrel took had the moon one all right done now we need to do the etiquette one see what foods were to be eaten with each utensil all right so we gotta figure out this, I guess. Um, okay, y'all ready to learn about etiquette? Formal meals in the Victorian era were grand social affairs with as many as 15 courses served during a single evening. Etiquette demanded that- Whoa, Izzy, yucking it up with Corrine? This is an interesting turn of events. Whoa. Check out the new gal pals. What? They hated each other. Why do they like each other now? What in the world? I didn't have to input it like five times. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. You mean I wrote it down? Sorry, I wrote it down. Yeah, I wrote it down. Um, man, I would. I don't even know if I would finish fifteen courses. I'm assuming the courses are tiny, so maybe I could. <laughs> Etiquette demanded that each course be accompanied by a specific piece of highly specialized flatware, making knowledge of what food to eat with, eat with which utensil imperative. The ease with which guests consumed such a meal was a reflection of their social standing. Dang. Oh my god, what is, what is all these texts? Izzy sounds a tad upset. Three words. Uh, regal pal pick. Geniuses. Fake, fake, fake is. Um, oh, was that photo fake? Oh, this is a, oh my God, AI. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The largest of the play... Can they stop interrupting me? I'm trying to learn about freaking etiquette here. The largest of the knives shown, the place knife was actually less uh, expensive than a regular dinner knife. Its longer blade drew attention away from its smaller and hence cheaper silver handle. Are they talking about this? Oh my god. <gasps> Who is this? Amber Sullivan? Junior class. Oh, who's Amber Sullivan? She left her note, her little card in here. I am not reading all this. But basically it goes place, dinner, dessert, <laughs> slash lunch, steak. This was a steak knife? So tiny. 
Fish. That one makes sense. Melon, game, butter. Melon, game, and butter. Okay, the butter one, that one, I know. That's a good one. Okay, iced tea. Oh, because it's long. Okay, dessert, place, soup, and cream. That one makes sense. Ice cream? Okay. That one's probably like a grapefruit one, right? Oh, orange fruit. Oh, I know my spoons. Egg. And then the last one is, uh, what? Dimitas? Dimitas? I don't know what that is. Okay, and then all these forks. Place, fish. <laughs> it looks like a trident. Pie, fruit, cheese? Uh, dessert, seafood, terrapin. Dessert, seafood, terrapin. The heck is the cheese one looking weird? This is some gnarly, gnarly forks. Yeah. One second. All right. So at least we have a book. I don't even think we can do anything yet. Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to put the forks and the spoons in order or something. Oh, wait. We do. We have to do it based off this menu. Oh, that's it. That's it. Because, yeah, that's it. We have to basically figure out which is what. And then we have to move the spoons in a dip. Okay. But I can't even open this yet. So I guess I can't do it yet. All right, let's go ask Izzy what the heck that photo was about. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Kareen? There was no picture of me and Kareen. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Any idea who this somebody might be? Calm Either down. Mel or Leela. They both resent me. And they're both experts at doing underhanded things. Mel and her plagiarism. Leela throwing elbows whenever the ref's not looking. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. <laughs> Dang! Man, she does not want to be known as being friendly with Kareen. What's wrong with Kareen? Kareen's so nice. What the heck? Hi, Diego! Also, Boiler, thank you for the 35 stream streak. Thank you! Alright, let's go ask Kareen what she thinks. What's up, Rumi? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? What? It was awesome, all right. But was it real? What, the picture? Of course it was real. All this black cat stuff has brought her and me closer together. It it's united us against a common enemy. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. Wow, so she's not mad at it at all. She thinks it boosts, like, I guess her reputation in the school. But she's literally just straight out lied. She lied. Yeah, right? I the better heck? get going. Bye. What Search the yourself. heck? Such a liar. It's dark and I've never climbed this thing before. Talk about your recipes for disaster. Well, dang it. How am I supposed to climb this tree? I guess I need to climb the tree during the day. Hmm. I'm here. Oh my God, now I have cat hair just floating around. How me. goes it? I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. Her pants are on fire. Yeah, liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Uh, keep my eyes peeled for a way to put the ID I found in the Victorian book to use. See if... What's the other option? That one sounds good. Just no mayonnaise. <laughs> See if pulling on those utensils in the display in the order polite Victorians would have used. Does anything. Can't check that well, I can't yet. even pull them. I can't even get into that. Did that. I can't even get into that box. Should I go talk to Izzy and maybe she'll give me a key? 
Wait, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have any keys right now, so... All right, let me go talk to Izzy. Hey, what's going on? Dang I it. I better get going. How, okay, do I get, how do I get that darn key? Do I need to play a game with her? Step right oh, oops. The I snack shop this. is open. <gasps> Another teacher order. Teacher order. Ooh, yeah. Man, this teacher really likes tomatoes. Dang it, she wants a freaking cookie. Hurry, 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 oops. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come get your order. I did it. Oh, you received run one credit from Prop Snacks. Oh yeah, I'm so good, guys, I'm so good. Man, I need to figure out a way to that miss sawyer 10 demerits now get to your room no no are you kidding me should i do the piano thing again <laughs> that's too many demerits no! 10 is too much. I'm going back. Oh, second chance expelled. Oh, Hi, oops. I'm now. Load. Sorry, I meant to hit load. Wait, did we get 10 demerits? This is before the demerits happened? Okay, good. All right. Well, okay. Dang it, but that's how you get in there. Shoot, how do I get in there then? Okay, but that's how you open the door. Still have to do that. Dang, what about opening this? <laughs> I mean, I've seen people open doors with cards like that before, so. Dang it. Gosh darn it. All right, good, at least I didn't have to. Here, let me save. Uh. Uh, I don't know, locked room and spoons. <laughs> I'll just call it spoons. How's it going? Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. Dang it, chat. Who should we go talk to? Should we, who haven't we spoken to? Mel, I guess? It's open. It's already open. How goes it? I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. Dang, man. Also, what does this say again? Searching for something is what life is for. Find what is hidden. Read much followed by more. Mm. We still don't have the... We still don't have anything. They're never in their I'm room. I'm here. It's already open. Not now, okay? Nobody wants to talk with me. Is there anything here? Dang it, guys. Nobody wants to talk with me. You may not come in. Just leave. Hmm. What should we do? Should we make it daytime? And try to climb the door? Oh. Oh, you get one credit for enhancing the school website. <gasps> Wait, speaking of, how many credits do I have? <laughs> 10 points from, from the law. <laughs> I was saying that this one kind of reminds me of Harry Potter in a way. Maybe it's the demerit system. Uh, um, let's see. How do I see? Oh, here we go. Highest current double take score, made snack, assisted fellow. So I have negative five demerits, which is good. We want negatives, I think. Should I, should I see if I need to be faster? Should I try to do this? See if I can get a higher score? Oh my God. 
Wow, that was good. If y'all see any, let me know. Oh, spider. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I already forgot. Oh, dog. I think there was a camel up here. Oh yeah, camel. We need to beat our score. Where is the bat? Bat. Nice. Elephant, butterfly. Oh, hummingbird. Hummingbird. Where was the octopus? Where was the octopus? Pig. Where's the octopus? There's a frog. Where's the frog? Frog. Pig. Where's the pig? Hmm. Oh, snake. Oh, monkey. I think you already got the top score. I don't know if I have to like get it again. Like, I don't know how to check. Octopus, where is that octopus? I'm trying to be faster. Dang it. Do you think I can beat my score? Sorry, I know I asked y'all for help. Okay, all right, there. Oh, I'm still the highest score, but I didn't beat my top score. Okay, I'm still the best though. It's okay, all right. I'm still the best. Just wanted to double check. I'm still the best. <laughs> I don't know if I could beat that score if she actually does beat it though. All right, let's make it, I don't know, daytime? I don't think there's anything else I could do. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Can't check that off. Oh yet. yeah, I still need to take those photos. Haven't done that. That's done. Okay. What other photos do I still need? What is wood inlaid? What does that mean, wood inlaid? Can't do the United States map. Did the trophy, did the archway, did the tree, and we obviously still can't do the photo. Hmm. All right, well, let's just sleep. Let's sleep and make it daytime. So then maybe I can climb the tree. Are we gonna have any, another scream? What was that? <laughs> What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Ha! <laughs> 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 ha! Get it, squirrel! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I already forgot. <laughs> Oh no! Chat! <laughs> Whoa! I died. I died. No clue, that was too fast. It really was. Uh, dang it. Alright, let's try again. Let's try it. Let's try again. Okay, one, one, two. Three, four, five, six. So one, crap. Two, three, four, five, six. One, not that one. Dang it!
Oh, this one, this little one. And then the higher one. And then the middle one. This one, this one, higher one. The middle one. This, and then this. Yas! Yas! Please don't tell me there's more. Dang it. Oh my god. All the, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, 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 not that one. Dang yeah. it. I'm getting there. This is hard. What the heck? So, this one, this one, that one. Oh, the bottom one. Okay, then this one. We got it! Oh, it's a beetle. What is that sound? <gasps> what in the cold? What are they worshiping, the albino squirrel? What the heck is going on? Let's go see if they left anything down there. That is really creepy. What time is it? Oh, I should have taken a photo. Dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. I should have taken a photo. Oh, I should have taken a photo. No. Oh, well. Is she, is she asleep? Okay. So at least we know Corrine isn't a part of that. Wait, what time is it? Oh shoot, it's 11. Wait, will we get in trouble? Okay, hold on. Look at tree cult. <laughs> Maybe you should have taken a photo. I should have. I didn't know better. I didn't even know I could whip out my phone. Wait, everybody's asleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody's asleep. Okay, here we go. Let's take a photo. There we go. Oh, Oklahoma's missing. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we can hit different parts on the bird. Interesting. Is there anything else I can do here? But what, what, what kind of, what, what do I, is there anything else here? Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe this told me what order? 
Didn't they tell me about the different bird stuff? It says pay close attention of the wedge, tail, large bill, shaggy breast ruff, and elegantly long primary feather. So maybe we have to hit it in that order. So wedge. What is a wedge? What's a wedge? A wedge tail. So tail, bill, breast. So his bot, his furthermost tail, his beak, his breast, and his primary feathers. Okay. So tail, beak, breast, primary. <gasps> Oh no, what have I done? Oh my god, I thought a freaking thing exploded. <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> oh my god. Wait! Oh no. Oh crap, guys. <laughs> oh no, chat. I, I'm good at this up to a certain point. <laughs> oh no. Where's Texas? Yeehaw. All right, that's as far as I'm gonna get. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I had to use, I used to have to do this when I was younger. Crap. Um, let's see. New York. Somewhere over here. No? Okay, great. New Mexico. I think so. Keep in mind that the Oklahoma is missing. This is gonna get real embarrassing real fast. <laughs> um, Colorado is here. No. Oh! Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. California. Arkansas. Okay. Alabama. Somewhere over here. <laughs> Crap. Arizona. Uh, Georgia. Okay. Kansas is up here. <laughs> Maine. Oh, that was easy. Maine. Maryland. Oh god, it's so tiny. Maryland is there we go. There's good old man. Oh, this one's easy. Michigan. Where where are you from again, FN? Do you know where your state's located? I think oh it's right up here. I got it. Missouri. There. <laughs> I have already done New Mexico. Oh, Massachusetts. There. Apparently, don't ask me anything about over here. I don't know. New Jersey is by New York. Oh, where'd it go? Wait, where'd it go? Wait, where'd it go? Wait, did I put it back? Where's New Hampshire, guys? <laughs> Mass what? <laughs> Where's Ohio? Ohio is like somewhere over here, right? Ohio. Ohio? What about Pennsylvania? <laughs> I don't know where New Jersey went. Where the heck did New Jersey go? Did I accidentally place it down? Or maybe it went back down to the very bottom? Oh, here's Rhode Island. Oh God. Oh, perfect. Okay, West Virginia is perfect. Virginia. Uh, that one's easy. South Carolina. South Dakota. What? I don't, I don't know. Vermont. Man, I'm gonna get in so much trouble that teacher's gonna see and be like, oh my god, I think she's gonna get more she's gonna get more mad at me that I didn't don't know where the freaking states go. <laughs> than than me being up at night. 
Okay, okay, okay. Ohio neighbors Michigan. Which one is Michigan again? Um. Oh, there's New Jersey. There's New Jersey. There. Okay, so where's Ohio? Where's Michigan? Oh, I don't have Michigan on here, do I? I Do I? Hold on. Are these in order anymore? They're not. Oh, wait. You did put Michigan. This one. This one's Michigan? This one? No, that's Wisconsin. Uh, oh, they don't, they don't go in order anymore. That's why. Oh, oh, I did take a photo. That's, that's, oh, that's Minnesota. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin. Whoa, there it is. There's Wisconsin. <laughs> oh my God, my bot, my bot's angry. Oh, Alabama's down there. Oh God, don't watch chat. This is embarrassing. I mean, if it if it makes sense, lose it or use it, right? Oh, there's Ohio. I definitely lost it. Which one goes here? There's New Hampshire up here. Okay, perfect. Oh, and Vermont's up there. Am I missing one here? I think I am. Oh, North Carolina. Okay. North Dakota. Where the heck is North Dakota? Who lives there? Nevada is next to California. Right. We could do Nevada. There. Which one's here? Oh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, yes, Connecticut. Oh, Utah, Utah. Utah. Y'all aren't looking this up, are you? Y'all aren't cheating, are you? Y'all just know this because you know it, right? Y'all aren't cheating, are you? Minnesota? Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Y'all better not be cheating this. Cheating. You know where Delaware is? No. Yes. I do know. <laughs> um... South Dakota. No, some of us pay attention to geography. Oh, well, at least that makes one of us. I'm good at the map because of friends episode. <laughs> what? Oh, there's, which one was that one? Whatever, there's that one. Oh, Idaho. Who even lives up here? Do y'all live up here? Iowa, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Wyoming, Oregon, Oregon and Washington, that's fine. Wait, I never had to put Washington back. It looks there. like a piece is missing. No duh, Nancy, we already knew that. All right. So wait, you're telling me, no, 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 no. You're telling me that when I did the bird puzzle thing right, all it did was just knock these out of place? Wow, that's rude. Well done. Freaking US map, I swear to God. All right. Um, back in history, or whatever class I had to take, we had a test, we had a time test. We had to write every single uh, state correctly with- Oh no, that must be Paige, the demerit person. I can't let her see me. <laughs> yoo -hoo! where are you? She didn't see me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Sneaky. Well, I literally had to hide. Oh, I wanted to go and snoop. I wanted to snoop. I wanted to be a snooper snoop. Oh my God, that actually generally scared, genuinely scared me though. Thanks, Orca. Okay, 
Okay, I'm safe in here. I'm safe. Anyways, we had to do a we had we had a map, blank map, and we had to write down all the states. We had to spell everything right. So minus points for spelling the state wrong, minus points for putting the state in the wrong spot. I hated that. I hated that. Like why do I have to well I guess it helps to know where, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good with you United States states, okay guys? Alright. Haven't done that. Let's see what else. Check. Follow that pesky scroll, squirrel. Okay, I got the squirrel. I got both thingies. Okay, look around for clues below the oak tree. Oh yeah, maybe we should go do that. The chanting I heard may have something to do with Rita Hallowell's hidden treasure. So find out what those people were saying. Be on the lookout for something that might tell me what order to press the raven. Oh, we That's already done. did that. Can't check already that did off that. Yet. Haven't done that. Oh, I have to get the map of the U.S. back. But that wasn't even our fault. Can't check that off yet. Wait, since there's something about reconstructing the states in Hollowell's journal, I could probably find it. Wait, her journal says something about the states? Oh, it does. Oh, close observation. Oh, that's where her, oh, it led to a wondrous conclusion. Reconstruction of the United States will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion, but that is a subject for, oh, that makes sense. So once you hit the bird in the right order, that's why they said reconstruction of the United States will lead to something. Oh, but we need to find the Oklahoma. To be fair, there are a lot of states and a lot of them are stupid. <laughs> Agreed. Go to Paige's room. Ooh, do you think I can? I'm going to save before. Hmm. Locked. Oh my god, talk about freaking scaring people. Oh my god. <laughs> what about Mel's room? Locked. Dang it, they lock their they lock their doors at night. Smart girls. <laughs> but they don't lock them during the day. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Oh god. Not again. Where are you? Just show yourself. Hehehe. <laughs> Can't catch me. Oh <gasps> a bow! Ooh, this bow looks like Mel's. You know, she said that she was ancestral, like her mother, great grandmother, mother's mother's mother, 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 mother. Anyways, all of her family have gone to this school, so that makes sense. If there was a school cult, that she'd be in it, maybe. All right, let's go to let's go to bed finally, uh, and let's make it daytime. Then let's ask her some questions. Yeah. I'm mostly good at the West because my sister lives in Utah. Time to get up already? Oh, nuts. There goes my phone. What? <gasps> What's this? What's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. Oh. <gasps> Oklahoma! <laughs> we found Oklahoma. Oak OK has been found. Oh my god, I can't write. Okay. Ha, <laughs> okay. What's up, Rumi? I found this barrette outside. Thought it might be yours. Nah, I don't do barrettes. Anything Wait, that's else? 100% Mel. I bugged you enough. See ya. Enjoy. Oh! <gasps> Go hey, back to guess who France. Just got a note from the black cat. Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Congratulations. <laughs> don't worry. Hold on. Oh my god, I've been targeted. I've been targeted, chat. I've been targeeted. It's open. Newbie still left gossiping France. About me. 
Because of secret boyfriend problems. <laughs> I don't have secret boyfriend problems. I have a boyfriend named Ned who loves me. <laughs> What's the word? Is this by any chance your barrette? Yeah, it is. Hey, thanks for finding it. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling it out of my hair. It is, head. Mel. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. Um... I can't just forget what I saw, and you know it. Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. Look at her I'm not face. looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you. Oh, I'm 100% gossiping about this. Oh, she believes me. What you me. saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. <gasps> what? It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school Blackwood was founded. Blackwood Society. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. Seven? But there's only, like, three girls, or one, two... Three, four, four, there's only like five girls. <laughs> Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, and no one ever talks. They just That's whisper, so you can't tell who weird. anyone is. That's weird. That's weird. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a... Uh, tradition one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started uh would y'all do that <laughs> if you if you had to wear a cloak and you had to whisper and chant something <laughs> would you join that who's the leader what happens if you what don't want to if you don't want to be a member i have no idea look to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and <laughs> not I accept a, all the and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong <laughs> because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never Dang heard it. it. We should have asked some more questions. You. Sounds uh, good. Dang. Becca, if you still want that Poe book, check out our illustrious president's room. The coast is clear. Go for it. That's a setup. That's a setup. I'm being set up. All right. But I'm going to go for it. Not now, please. Locked. They lied. They lied to me. You can come in. Someone didn't lock their door. <laughs> They lied to me. Meet me later, okay? Literally is a cult. Yeah. I mean, all they do is chant, but like, what are they chanting? You know what looks so sus, guys? Oh, look, it's snowing. Hold on, let me show y'all what looks sus. You know what looks sus? I played too many Nancy Drew games. This. I bet this opens. You want to know why? Because this looks weird. And there's no pictures on the wall. I'm calling it. Wait, it's snowing. Let's go outside. I love how the music changes. <gasps> Snow! It's snowing! Edwarden, thanks for the 100 bits! Look, it's snowing, guys. It's snowing. It's snowing. I don't want to leave just yet. Uh. 
I bet we have to fix this or something. I don't know when, though. Also, wait a second. Was this supposed to help me? No, this doesn't tell me about where the things are. Ooh, I heard a mouse. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have two of these. Oh! Oh. Uh, I don't know. Okay. We probably need to get more of those little thingies. And then we can do that puzzle. Don't ask me what the order would be, though. Oh my god. Well, the black cat's after me now, chat. But wait, what the heck? Why did they, why did they lie? Maybe if they have cookies while they chant. <laughs> Some tan cookies. Honestly, I'll join a cult if it's like that. Just have like a little get together and just say, milk and cookies, milk and cookies. And then you just eat milk, drink milk and eat cookies. I'd join that. <laughs> I joined. I know there's so many, so many. I don't think you have to like find all of them though. I'd imagine. I don't know. How's Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is more. I'll catch you later. Pop in anytime. Hey, don't thank me, FN. Thank Nancy Drew. I don't know what to do now. What do we need to do? Do what that anonymous text message said. Snoop in Izzy's room. Oh, Izzy's room for the Poe book that's missing from the library. Oh, it's Izzy's room, not Paige. Oh, they meant Izzy's room. <sighs> Izzy's room. Izzy's room. All right. Save. I'm being set up. Yes. All right. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Wow. Where's the book? Oh my god, she has a picture of herself. Oh, a key! I'm taking that. Who's that? Jacob. Oh my god, how awkward. Literally, that was Leela's boyfriend, her roommate. She literally has a photo of him. Also, what, who in the, what kind of boy, bowler's shirt? Sunglasses. Look where he is. Oh, this is an interesting location. But who does that? Poor girl. Oh my god, look at her cat. That's a cute cat. Oh, here we go. Oh. That's probably what the key is for. Perfect. This is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing. Oh my god, Izzy is the leader of the Blackwood Society. Oh! Oh, what does that say? What does that say? What does that say, chat? But wait, where's the book? Hmm. What does that say? Rad... Shoes. Rad, oh, velvet. Rad, red velvet shoes. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. <gasps> this there is the it book is. that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. Um. Oh, see, four stars. Desert into the maelstrom. The ape did it. Murders in the room room. Black Cat, 843. The Raven. The Sphinx, gold. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I need this for something, but I don't know what. So wait, Leela had it, not Izzy. This is e Izzy's side, this is Leela's side. Is there anything else I can snoop at? Mm. I think that's it. This is kind of cute, though. Their room. I mean, oh, look. Is that Leela's dog? Oh, she has a golden retriever. Freaking cute. Look at that, man. All right. 
there anything on there? I guess that's it. Ooh, I didn't get in trouble. I didn't get in trouble. But I need to keep that book. So let's see what I need to do. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. That's done. Check. Make sure there's nothing else of interest under the desk where I found that black cat note to Danielle. Haven't done that. Oh, see if the piece of wood I found under the bed is shaped in the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> For a reason? Hmm. You still my boyfriend? I still your book. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. Do what the anonymous text said. That's done. Look around Izzy's stuff and see if the key was behind her picture. Did opens that. anything. Tell Izzy I know she's the leader of the Blackwood Society. Take a really, really good look around Izzy and Leela's Check. room. Take a look at the book of post stories I Check. found. Which I did, but I don't really understand it. These are just the poems. These are just poems from Edgar Allan Poe, right? I don't know what the numbers mean. So, all right, let's go tell Izzy. We know she's the leader of the Blackwood Society. <gasps> How's it going? Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to tell me something. All right, who blabbed? I, look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated but i promise you whatever you tell me i won't repeat it to anyone ever what's in it for me if you don't tell me what i nothing. want nothing i'll tell everyone about the society maybe i don't care i'll owe you one how's that i'll say it once and that's all three is fine but five is more even 19 defeats four should just seven become lore at least two will find the door you owe me big. How did you get to be the leader? How did you get to be the leader? The heck? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot. And when I did, there was the blue cloak, along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? Cool. No harm in <laughs> hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever, what else is going on? Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. They say that for 20 minutes? I guess so. But I didn't, what, what is it that they say? Okay, three is fine, but five is more. Even 19 defeats four. Should it just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. So five, 19, seven, two? I don't know, maybe it's like a code for something. I don't know what the code would be for though. Can't check that off yet. That's done. All right. Um, all right. We need to make it nighttime because we need to go. We need to go in here and put the Oklahoma thing there. Hey, what's going on? I'll check back with you later. Hit him hard. Oh wait, I need to do. I need to do the snack shop. Attention, I everyone. Done it yet. As of now, the snack shop is open. <sighs> Another teacher order. Ah! Bagel, cheese, cheese, lettuce, meat, tomato, cheese, bagel, pretzel, apple, cookie, and milk. Order up! I received one credit. <laughs> I still need to figure out how to open, oops, how to open this thing though. I don't have a key for that. 
don't have the key. What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. Hasta whatever. Let's get back to your paper. Do these people never go to school? It's open. It's already open. How goes it? I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Looks like I can't really talk to any of them. Let's talk to Rachel. Who do y'all think I'm is here. the most suspicious? It's already open. Who do y'all think is the most suspicious? I can't talk now. I feel like... Mm, I feel like Rachel is. <laughs> Nancy? I feel like Rachel's the most suspicious. I can't even, like, talk to her. I can't even talk to her. I can't do anything. Corinne's my roommate, so I feel like she's in the clear because she's literally my roommate. Um, and then Mel... I don't know. I feel like all of them have been framed except for Rachel. Right? Mel with the plagiarism, Corrine and Izzy with the photo, um, Izzy and Leela with the boyfriend stunt. Like, nothing is pointing to Rachel. I think it's Rachel. What do y'all think? You concur? You concur? Or maybe it's Paige, the headmistress lady. <laughs> okay, alright, I'm gonna make it, I don't know, nighttime? I'm gonna make it nighttime. Cause I don't, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I need to go back in that room. In order to do that, we have to make it nighttime. So let's make it 11 p.m. Nothing's pointing at you. Makes it easy to hide things. So that is a good point. I mean, it could be that she is innocent, and yeah, nothing pointing to you. I don't know. 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 Now I'm going back and forth. All right, wait, where's the room? Oh, here, this one. No, really, I'm not kidding. He said that to me, I swear. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Yoo-hoo! Where are you? Sneaking around scares me. I don't like it. It freaks me out. <laughs> Why is she so creepy? Right? Yoo-hoo. All right, here we go. Wait. Where's the Oklahoma? Wait, where's the... Oh, oh, it's right here. What happened? What is that? Oh, <gasps> nice. I got another oh, one. That's Rachel. What's she up to? I should probably find out. Well, it looks like she just wanted a snack. <laughs> Why is that so suspicious? Oh my God, we're sneaking into her room. <gasps> Hidden door? Wait, what? What? Oh, okay, that's super suspicious. Oh my god, 100% is her. Wait, how did she, how did, how do I get there? What do I do? Wait, what do I do? Oh. Do I have to turn them all on? Is that what this is? Oh! Oh my gosh! There's two of you? Please don't tell. You mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? I including the administration? 
But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. What? We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, <laughs> the twist, we'd man. Up in foster homes. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, I won't tell. And don't worry. You can I'm tell who's pretty who. pretty good with secrets. With their hair. Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Actually, you're not. Kim! Someone oh, Kim. else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. <gasps> you two are the black cat? No. We just make the notes and deliver them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. Well, why is she so angry? What are you doing? If she tells, they're going to kick us out anyway, Rachel. She may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time it's from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. Night. That is, that's the biggest twist I think I've ever experienced in a Nancy Drew game. <laughs> Whoa, so there was two of them that whole time? So they were responsible for at least leaving the notes, but they say, they claim that they're not the black cat. Whoa, that's trippy. That's done. That's so trippy. Did that. Hold on, let me check off the ones I haven't done yet. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. But I did tell you she was suspicious, and that's why, I guess. It's because she has a haven't sister. Done that. Wait, what? So they only had one scholarship, so they both borrowed it. I mean, they could do it, right? Because they're twins. But what? <laughs> that's crazy. I love how they don't question you breaking into their room, like, at all. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> if there are two, then why the heck did she need our help? Right? She could have just done, had her twin do it. Still have to do that. That's so true, Lulu. Did what that. the heck? Did that. Yeah, why do we have to do all of her? We still have to do her dirty work. We still have to take those stupid photos. And I still haven't finished. Haven't done that. That's done. Did that. Is there anything else? I saw that coming a mile away. Haven't done that. It does remind me of a movie, but I don't know what movie that was. Besides, oh, Parent Trap, maybe? <laughs> Nah, maybe not Paratrap. Figure out where and how to put the Blackwood Society chant to use. Use the idea again to carefully and quietly break into Did Rachel's that. room. Did that. Fiddle with the starburst pattern on the wood Did paneling. That. Did that. Also, how the heck did they figure out that there was another room in that room? How the heck did they figure that out? Now you don't have to do it her way. Yeah, screw, do, screw doing it her way. Are the twins lying about being forced to do the black cat spinning, or are they telling the truth? Can't check that off yet. I don't know, man. I don't know. Do we want to believe them? They already lied to us. What's up, Rumi? Oh, are we, not, are we really not going to tell anybody about the Blackwood Society or the twins? That's insane to me. I'm here. What's the word? <laughs> I'll quit bugging you. I tell everybody. I wouldn't because that would risk her scholarship and I would feel really bad. Oh man, it's like really snowing. 
It's like snowing more and more each day. Oops, oops, oops. You can come in. I can't talk now. So this one's Kim, because her hair is pulled back. And the one with her hair, like, loose like that, that bothers me, that's the real Rachel. I wonder how they knew, like, like, let's go by Rachel instead of Kim. Hmm. Yeah, I know. She's making us do all the work. It doesn't make any sense. Whoa! Look at all the snow! Holy cow! It's like really snowing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even see where the stupid light is. Wait. Okay, so we have three. I think we're needing four. See, there's four of these at the top. Makes me think of four. But the question now lies just like the order. But I guess we need to wait till we can get the fourth one. Oh, look at my footprints. You can see my footprints. That's a nice touch, Nancy Drew. Holy cow, it's snowing like crazy, though. All right, what do we do now? Well, the only thing we can do is the utensils, but I don't know how to... I don't, I don't know how to get to the utensils. Do y'all know? I need a... I need a key. Should we call Ned? Let's call Ned. Nancy, hi, what's up? You're not tell about Rachel. This, but Rachel Hopefully is nobody's actually listening two in. People. What do you mean she's two people? I mean she has a twin named Kim, and they're both here at Waverly attending classes as Rachel. They're pretending to be one person? Yes. If you really think about it, that's Rachel really smart. Since day one, and no one here is the wiser. Sort of. Wow, I'm impressed. They're also responsible for the black cat notes. They're the black cat? Not technically. Apparently the real black cat is forcing them to do her dirty work for her. You mean they're being blackmailed? Somehow By the, the black, black cat, cat discovered their secret. So now, if they don't comply, busted. I don't know, Nance. These twins are obviously good at fooling people. They could be playing you. And now that they know that you know their secret, their work could get a whole lot dirtier. That is true. My thing is, chat... If they are, if they pretend that they're only one person, that means only one person is going to get the degree. So how is that going to benefit the other twin? Like, yeah, she can, like, study and, like, take tests and stuff, right? Um, I mean, if you think about it, it's less work, right? It's less work. Um, so, like, one could be doing one project, the other could be doing the other one. The fact that she's not a valedictorian as two people is insane to me. Um, but like, but then it like stinks for Kim because Kim's never gonna get a degree. <laughs> so what is she gonna do? The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. That makes you sense. Know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it and realizes you may be trying to find it too, I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. My other thing is with the twin thing. Hold on. 
So that means only one of them can go to the one class at a time. So like, how do they know which class to go to? Because then technically they can just use that one degree and get a job and just pretend that they're Rachel. So that does that mean like each girl will just be known as Rachel and then they just go to the two different jobs with that degree? I guess you could do that. Man, if only I had a twin. <laughs> I'm like really thinking about it now. I'm like, wow, well, being a twin would be great. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if this case has something to do with Edgar Allan Poe somehow. The famous 19th century American writer? I don't know, Nance. Sounds like your imagination may be working overtime. That's always a possibility, but guess what book recently went missing from Waverly's library? I give. The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories. I also found this token thing that looks like a little gold beetle. Remind you of anything? Well, Poe did write a story called The Gold Bug. But that could just be a coincidence, Nancy. Now, if you find a little raven or a tiny orangutan... Bingo. You're kidding me. Nope. The token seemed to have been left behind I don't by have that an orangutan. Rita Hollowell. And since Poe died, what, around 1850? And since Waverly was founded in 1866... Some kind of connection between the two is at least possible. Well, if there is a connection between this case and Edgar Allan Poe, you could be in for it. Poe is considered to be one of the greatest mystery writers of all time. Hmm. College would have been a breeze. Yeah, right? But it would only have been a breeze, like, how, I guess, oh, I get it. Maybe, like, the, maybe the student, or maybe... Rachel like records the class so then the so then that's how the other twin can listen <laughs> maybe they go to, they go to the classes they are stronger at and Kim's gonna get that GED and take college entrance exams oh Madrona that's it but didn't they say that's, that's like they're doing this for the scholarship? Wait, are they doing the scholarship? Oh, what, did they get the scholarship to go to this academy? That's what it is. You're on. You're it. You're it for now. That's it, Jonah. Okay. That's what they're you doing. You got it. Bye. That's it. Hmm. I have. I haven't even talked to Beth. Should we call Megan? I was hoping Neb was gonna tell me Hello, what to do Beth next. Sawyer. Hi. Okay. If I ask you something else. Sure. How do you like rooming with Mel? I don't. We were kind of thrown together because of this valedictorian thing. You don't like her? The hair, <laughs> the makeup, the jello. It's all just a little much. I mean, Waverly is a traditional East Coast all-girls school. If she wants to play the deep, soulful, I'm way more enlightened than you, neo-hippie chick, or whatever the heck she's supposed to be, fine. It just would have made more sense to do it somewhere else, that's all. I'd better let you go. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right, bye. They are orphans in need of place to live. They said they were they were scared about being sent to a boarding school, right? So, or something like that, right? <laughs> they said their dad was around. He just had no idea how to raise them. Yeah. I just think it's cool. I think it's cool. Should I call Bess? I haven't even spoken to Bess, but I'm also lost. I don't know what to do next. Kyla's preparing for a Kylie clone. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Wow, she didn't even answer me. Hmm. Shoot, I don't, I don't, I'm stuck, chat. I don't know what to do now. Because it says, like, take pictures of Waverly Academy icons. But we can't do that yet. Or, oops. Because I'm missing the Rita Hollowell and Usher. I think I've gotten all the other ones, though. Here, let me see if I can put them in the library. Or put them in the website, I guess. The Weather Bureau has issued a blizzard warning in effect until 11 p.m. Expect heavy snow, high winds, and sub-freezing temperatures. All students are strongly urged to stay indoors.
Where do I put the... Where do I put the pictures? Wait, where was that? Why Waverly? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see if I can at least download the pictures. Okay, download. 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 Maybe they'll, I'm still missing the last one. Also, wait, do you think I need to retake it now that I put put Oklahoma back? Here, let's see. Here, hold on, let me like totally walk out. I, I honestly, I would feel very studious being in a library like this, wouldn't y'all? I love libraries that are like, they, that look like this and are kind of dark. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I, I like it. Alright, all of these look good and they don't say anything bad. Maybe if no one was in it. Yeah, that's true. I think I, I think, yeah, I, I would like it if nobody was in it too. Alright, let's go ask Rachel if these photos are good. I have a feeling, I have a feeling they're not. I'm here. Not now, okay? <sighs> Is that why there's another bean bag here? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I don't want to be disturbed right now. What was the deal with all those glass eyes? Glass eyes? What, Nancy? What? What was the deal with all those glass eyes? has a very interesting way of washing her face. What is that? She's, I think she's talking about another game. Was, I can't remember which game had glass eyes, though. I could live there easily. Oh, from the Crystal Skull, the glass eyes. Oh, maybe. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. I don't know what to do. It's open. How goes it? Maybe I'll pop in again later. Sounds good. be something I can do but I just don't know Hold on, so let's see. This one was about the piano. We did that one. This one was about the bird and then the United States map. We did that. This one is about, um, this one is about the dinner, but we haven't been able to do that one yet. And then this one is about the cult. <laughs> Cause they said, I, I have assembled a group and charged it with protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. But I'm lost. I don't know what to do next. Do we need to make it nighttime? What's up, Rumi? I better get going. Bye. Later. Uh, let's make it nighttime. There's something by the dartboard. Oh, there is? Okay, let's go look. The dartboard. Where's the dartboard? The door. Uh-huh. Oh, I 
something over there, but I can't click on it. Um, turn the light on. Oh my god, you're right. There was a key there. Oh, okay, now we can do the etiquette. Whoa, that's so hard. What? I would have not been able. No way. That's so difficult. Okay, good. Thank you, Evan. Oh, okay, now we can do this. Okay, that's good. All right, so I think we have to like... Oh, so we have to hit him in a certain order. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna do this one at a time. <laughs> now it falls into place. All right, this is a celebratory dinner. Okay, so first we're gonna have oysters. Okay, so how would we eat oysters, chat? Which utensil would we eat? I'm thinking a fork, but which fork? Seafood. Seafood, right? Narrow tines to easily navigate shell shellfish. So we need, which one is that one? This one. This one is, this is it, this is it, this one, this fork. Okay, so. This one? Wait, which fork? This one? This one, okay, that one's the oyster one, okay. And then, what does that say? Pond some... Oh, cons some. What is that? It's a soup. Oh, it's a soup. Okay, so a spoon. But we need a soup spoon. So, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, the rounder of all of the spoons. Okay, rounder of all of the spoons. This is the roundest, correct? Consume, consume. Okay, so there you go. So we had our oysters, we had our soup. Terrapin. I'm going to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what terrapin is, but I remember seeing a specific fork for terrapin. Yeah, it's the version of a spork. The terrapin combined... Four short tines with a round bowl. Since terrapin turtle meat was served in a broth. Oh, poor turtles. So it's a spork. Okay. A spork. This one, right? Yeah, I think it's this one. All right. Mmm. Turtle meat. Great. Filet of beef. So we need... Um... Filet of beef. Well, for beef, we're going to need a knife and a fork, right? But maybe... I feel like maybe it's just fork for this one. Steak. Okay, cutting meat. I'm thinking it's a steak one, but which one? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So like the skinniest one? Yeah, the skinniest knife? This one. All right, so that was, that was for filet of beef. Okay, sorbet. That one's obviously a spoon, but which spoon is sorbet spoon? Dessert or ice cream. Uh, I ice cream, right? Ice cream spoon. Ice cream. Yeah, because the next one is orange egg and dimitas, whatever that is. Um, so ice cream one. So one, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it kind of has like a little curve. It's it's like a weirdly shaped scooper. It's a scooper. It's a scooper. Scooper. This one. This one's a scooper. All right. Scooper. All right. Roast spring chicken. So chicken. 
chicken. But the egg one said something about sorbet. Oh, see, as sorbet became more prevalent as uh, an intermezzo to clean the palate between courses, a separate spoon was necessary with which to eat it. So they're saying basically sorbet was a different spoon. Uh, so the convex size of the egg spoon, to, so that's why they said the egg spoon. Yeah, I think it's still, I think it's still the different one. Uh, oh, you think it's also a sorbet spoon? I think they're saying they use the egg spoon for sorbet. A sorbet became more prevalent as an intermission to clean the palate between courses. A separate spoon was necessary with which to eat it. Oh shoot, should I did it raw in the wrong order then? Yeah, why the heck we would use ice cream spoon? All right, all right, should I like back up and redo then? Okay, we'll back up and redo. So we had oysters, consomme, con yeah, consomme, terrapin, Forgot terrapin. Terrapin was the turtle meat. Okay, yeah, okay, the spork. Okay, terrapin. Um, filet of beef. Okay, sorbet. So you think for sorbet I should do the egg spoon. Okay, let's do the egg spoon then. It's more pointy, more pointy, right? Yeah, more pointy. This one. Okay, so that one. Got it. All right, so roast spring chicken. No. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Seven. Oops. <laughs> it's the second to last. Dang it! Okay, it's that one then. <laughs> no. Is it this one? That one's the egg spoon? Okay, fine. All right, hold on. One, two, three. Four, five, okay, there we go. Okay, all right, we got the sorbet one. Okay, what about the roast spring chicken? What's a chicken? Game, game. Yeah, it's a bird. So it's the second to last knife, which is this one. It's more curvy and thin. This one's curvy, but this one's thick curvy. This is thin curvy. So thin curvy. Oh, this one. That one. Okay. All right. Roast chicken. Cheese. Now there's a specific cheese knife. Is it cheese knife? No, that's butter knife. Cheese was the weird fork, wasn't it? Yeah, that crazy fork. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this one. This crazy looking fork is the cheese fork. All right, that one. That one's the cheese. It's funny how they just eat cheese. All right, vanilla ice cream. Okay, so we definitely know this one's the ice cream one. All right. And then sugared oranges, uh, sugared oranges, 
That one would just be the orange fruit one, right? So that one's the pointy spoon. I know, sugar origins does sound good. All right, so the pointy spoon. There we go. And then coffee. Um, a spoon for coffee? This one, right? Formal dinners frequently ended with coffee served in a separate room. The dimitasi spoon was a vital uh, accompaniment to the individual coffee cup. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's like the smallest spoon there is. So this one. Oh, we did it! Oh, thanks, guys. Sorbet one was tricky. Oh, we got the monkey one. Okay, we got all four one. We all we got all four. Yeah, all four. Yes. All right. So now that we have all four, should we try to go and do that puzzle? Let's try, because otherwise, I feel like if we take our time, make it the next day, it's gonna be too snowy. You know what I mean? All right, so now we have four, okay. So, so we got a cat, a beetle, a monkey, and what's the other one? Oh, a bird, a raven. So, the black cat, 843. Okay. Okay, so this one is the monkey, so 441. The raven is 245 with the fall of the house of usher. It's the name of her cat. The gold bug is six. Okay, so this is the order. So the raven has to maybe be put in the second one. So that one's done. Okay, and then what's next? The monkey needs to be put in the fourth one. Okay, but which one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine columns. I don't know if this is right, by the way, but. All right, the bug is six. Six, but I don't know which one. All right, and then the cat. The cat was in the eighth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. all think hold on oh wait haven't done that oh maybe it's the chant maybe it's the chant chat check should i look at the chant again maybe it's the chant three is fine but five is more Mm, even 19 defeats four. I don't think that has anything to do with this now that I think about it. Hold on, maybe it's not columns I should count. Maybe it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe it's like that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Since there's 17 spots, maybe that's it. Okay, so let me redo that then. So the cat is in the eighth one. So let's try the cat. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Uh, the monkey is in number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, monkey's right. Raven should be right, too. It's the beetle. Right? The raven was number two, so. Gold bug, number six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nothing happened. Hmm. Let's, can we call Ned? <laughs> Let's call our boyfriend. I don't know, Effin. I figured... Time to do some more snooping. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. I don't think we have to arrange the whole list because in the book there's only four. Of these makes me think that there should only be four. Uh, maybe we look at this. Maybe this has a clue. No, maybe I can call Bess. Yeah, I know there's empty spaces. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? But how else would I get more of them? There's no other puzzles to do. How many on the list and how many star spaces? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So, there is seventeen, and there's seventeen holes. But I don't know how to get all the other ones. <laughs> Descend it into the maelstrom, the black cat, mask of the red death, ling lignia. Murders in the Rue Morgue, Miss Found in a Bottle, The Raven, Lenore, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Succession of Sundays, The Cask of Amontillado, The Sphinx, Telltale Heart, The Gold Bug, The Pit and the Pendulum, The One in Paradise, and William Wilson. I have a theory. What's your theory? Put them in order that they are on the list. Oh, you say, so like, cat is the second one? Okay, okay. Okay, all right. So cat is the second one. So the numbers, you don't think the numbers on the side matter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That checks out. Okay, so fifth one is the monkey. One, two, three, four, five. Question is which one though? But anyways. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the raven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is the bug. Oh, wait, hold on. I went through the thing. I did that wrong. Hold on. Crap. Sorry. Second, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. So this would be five. And then seven. Fourteen is the bug, I said, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, Fourteen. And then seven was the raven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. When did Poe write all of these? Could the numbers be month, year? Oh, it may be. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So, like, August 1943. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
just was thinking the number had to do yeah had to be there for a reason yeah i'm thinking that's like when <laughs> um i was thinking yeah that's like when they were made I feel like they need to be spread out though. So I like the idea of spreading them out. <sighs> we tried to do it in the list. We tried to do it in like the order. Um, mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so it seems like the raven, no, the raven wasn't the first one. Which one's the first one? The monkey is the first one. So it goes monkey, then bug, then black cat, and then raven. Oh, did the music mess up? Okay, hold on. Let me fix, let me fix Nancy's volume. One second. We can sit here and think about another way to do it. I mean, we, it's very possible. Um, it's very possible that we don't have all of the clues yet to figure this out. I mean, that's a possibility. Let me turn it down just a little bit. All right, let me know if that fixed it. Hmm. All good? I mean, they all fit in every single one of them. I just don't know the order. Like, this is clear. Bottom two and the third last row. What do you mean, bottom two and the third last row? One, two, three. You think, but which ones? Oh, you mean like put them all here? Oh, third, last row. Maybe each story is a star and you have to put those stars where the books go. <gasps> oh, like each one is a year? Oh, but what is, what, oh, hold on, hold on. What, how many years? Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I see, so he wrote multiple ones in that year. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right, so what year does it start? 33, is 33 the starting one? So, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, wait, maybe not all years. Okay, hold on. Maybe not all years. So it goes 33, then 34, okay, y'all are on to something now. 46 is the, f I think the end one, and then 46, 43, so the black cat and the gold bug. Yeah, so the black cat and the bolt gold bug would share the same year. So one, so it'd be the second to last column. Because so it goes, for, no, 45, it'd be, yeah, the third to last column. Okay, so what did I say, the black cat and the bug? But there's four. So which order of the year in 1943? Okay, so it goes Black Cat was eight, Bug was six, Telltale Heart is one. This is totally it, and that one's two. So one, two, so yeah, the last two. Okay, okay. Like that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and then 
we still have the monkey, so that's 41. So if that was 43, 42, 41. Okay, so the monkey would be 42, 41. So this one definitely is the monkey. But I have to figure out which slot for the monkey. Oh, y'all are so smart. So four. Okay, so five. One, two, three. There's three. So it would be, so he would be first. The monkey would be first. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't mean to back up. <laughs> All right, now I have to figure out where the raven goes. Okay, the raven was, oh, 45, so. Here. Woo! Okay, okay. We did it. Oh, sorry, Effin, I just saw it. Oh, you did it, you, yeah, you got it. <laughs> we all figured it out at the same time. Woo, we did it! <gasps> Oh, what's this? Confidential, not to be distributed. Storage cellar. Oh, so there's a room behind this crazy mechanism. This <gasps> must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. Yes. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Yes. Oh, perfect. Nice, guys. Nice! I did it different, but got the same answer. Oh, you did it different? It looked like it was the same. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's gonna be me in 40 years with my cat? Same. So, this is basically just showing that there's an extra room here. But I don't know how to get behind there. All right, guys. Good job. That what took a bit, but that's okay because there was a lot of there was a lot of different answers. No help from Ned. A freaking Ned. Check. Can't check that off yet. Mm. Can't check that off yet. Okay, let's go put this in the library then. Oh wait, it's about us. Why Waverly? There. Now do we tell her we did all it? Did we get all the photos correct? Worthless boyfriend. <laughs> Poor Ned. What's that? What's that's what I thought you had to do F2 FN. I was in the middle when she got it. Wait, which one? Dump Ned, still Jacob. <laughs> Jacob Black. I'm here. Becca, hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Great job. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. What is it? Us. One of my web pages has to include the essay Kareen wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? No, Thanks. but don't worry, Kim. I'm working on it. Yeah. My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. Would you happen to know anything about the official blueprints of the school that are missing from the library? They're missing? So you've seen them? That's how I knew this room connected to the attic, but I don't have them and I have no idea who does. Oh. Now that I've seen you and your sister together, I'm pretty sure I can tell you apart. That's impossible! We're exactly the same, right down to our handwriting. No one can tell us apart. Okay, Kim. You're Kim, aren't you? You're right. I'm Kim. Careful <laughs> you. I knew it. Um, so she did have the blueprint, so that's how she knew there was an extra room. Ah, interesting. But how did she even get this room? That test you flunked. What happened? 
See, my sister attends some classes and I attend others. AP Chemistry was one of hers. So one day she got sick and to avoid her getting an absence demerit, I went in her place. And naturally, that was the day the teacher decided to surprise the class oh, with a test. Needless see. to say, I failed miserably. I've got to get back to work. That's what happened. Okay, so that makes sense because she was sick. Oh. Black Cat uh -oh. has been Now what's Izzy, happened? And it's, it is B-A-D. Oh no, what happened to Izzy? Oh, let's go ask what happened to Izzy. That favor you owe me, you can return it right now by finding out what happened to my term paper. It's not on my computer anymore. Oh God. Do you have a hard copy? No, it would have been like printing out a book. Four weeks of research and writing are just gone. I'm going to have to start all over and turn it in late, which means no A for the course and no... Somebody deliberately did this to me, and I want to know who, so you find out. Until you do, just leave me alone. I mean, no offense, I would be upset too, man. Four weeks and your paper's just gone missing? Hey, what's going on? That's it for now. Hit him hard. Hmm. All right, let's go. Let's keep asking around. I'm here. I need you to upload that essay, okay? See what I mean with Rachel and Kim still being sus as I can't even talk to them about any of the other people? Yeah. Hit him hard. How goes it? I this better get weird. going. Why Door's can't I talk open. to why can't I talk to anybody about her paper? Alright, well we need to talk to Corian anyways. What's up, Rumi? For the web page I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the pen to paper award. Oh yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. <laughs> I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, would you do me a favor? Sure, I guess. I'm absolutely starving, and since you're snack shop boss, how about getting me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar, okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. You got it. Excellent. Who is this again? Um, our roommate. <gasps> Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Ooh, you're in for it. You were warned, now you'll pay. Ooh, what will I pay? <laughs> I feel like I would be okay. People, I would make this I'm ready to take your joke. orders. I would make this a total joke I if I actually was things. here. Thanks. <laughs> you know who else likes him? Izzy. She talked to you out of the blue as I was walking by her in the hall. Wow. She never says wow. anything to me. Wow. Orders ready. Order's ready. So personally, she says stuff like that to everybody. What is up with her hair, anyway? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cookie! Water. Toasted bagel. Come get your order! Juice. I wish I could keep this door open. Oh wow, a normal meat and cheese bagel. Order up! Chocolate bar, apple juice. There, all done. Did, did I get what she wanted? I, I honestly didn't pay attention. I'm gonna assume I did, but... Yay! You've got okay, my snack. Yep. Enjoy. Thank Enjoy. you. Hey, and cookies. Mm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Great. Thanks. Only thing on there? We'll find out. You think it's her? Ever since she lied about the photoshopped image? Hmm. Anything else? You I'll let you get point. back to your paper. Enjoy. 
She seems like she's working really hard on being valedictorian too. And then wait, now that I think about it, which, what, what happened to her? What happened to her? What did the black cat do to her? I don't think the black cat did anything to her. Now that you think about it, it was only her roommate, right? Mm. The black cat did nothing to her. Right? Maybe she got tired of not being liked, but Mel likes her. But yeah, I don't know, who knows? Oh, she did a paper about Poe. That was her pen to paper. Nearly 200 years after his birth, myths surrounding the life and death of Edgar Allan Poe are as numerous today as they were in the mid 19th century. Despite being acknowledged as the inventor of the detective story, founder of the science fiction genre, a preeminent critic, and the first American writer to make a living as a writer, Poe continues to be to be most famous for his terrifying and gruesome gothic stories. Poe was a skillful businessman who was who well understood the importance of writing stories and poem, poems that would increase subscriptions and return a profit. Employed by several publications throughout his career, he had ready access to the sensationalist stories they often featured, tales of grave robbing, murder, and premature burials. Uh, Poe knew how to exploit the strange appeal the macabre held for his readers, deftly turning horrific crimes into psychological studies of human behavior. While other authors of this day were copying the British style of happy endings, Poe focused on the darker aspects of the human psyche, establishing situations fraught with drama and emotion and following them to their logical, often horrifying conclusions, and his readers loved him for it. In the 1840s, Gothic literature was already part of popular culture, but Poe had his stories take place not in remote, fantastical settings, but in environs which he knew his readers would find disturbingly familiar. Moreover, his stories were usually written in the first person. His eyewitness perspective not only gave his works an air of credibility, but left his readers with the feeling that the dreadful events he described could happen to anyone. Poe believed that a good short story should make an emotional impact on the reader, whether positive or negative, and truly his tales do just that. The circumstances- wow. When it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. Hmm. The circumstances surrounding Poe's death seem to have been taken right out of one of his stories. In early October 1849, Poe was found lying in the street, delirious, and was taken to Washington College Hospital, a faculty in or a facility in Baltimore, which was rumored to engage in body snatching and kidnappings in the name of medical research. He was put under the care of Dr. John Moran, but despite the doctor's efforts as well as those of a particularly devoted nurse, Hollowell, Poe died four days later. Exactly why Poe has never been, exactly why Poe died has never been ascertained. To add to the mystery, a single key was found in a pocket of his clothes after his death. The key, it was believed, was to his traveling trunk, which, when located, would surely contain anything the author had been working on prior to his untimely passing. Poe had made many enemies during his career, including literary critic Rufus Wilmot Griswold, who amazingly suddenly claimed to be Poe's literary executor and demanded access to the trunk. He no doubt hoped to hide or perhaps even destroy any stories that could be published posthumously and bring his nemesis even more fame. But when Dr. Moran found the trunk weeks later, it contained nothing of value. Or did it? Was Dr. Moran lying? 
Did he keep whatever was inside for himself before turning the trunk over to Poe's relatives? Or was he in cahoots with Griswold so that the final works of Edgar Allan Poe have been lost to the world forever because of them? Uh, perhaps fittingly, mystery was not only Poe's trademark, it became, it become, it's become his legacy. And one thing is certain, it's a legacy of which he most certainly would have approved. Ooh! So, that's interesting. So maybe this treasure Holloway claims that she has, um, maybe it's, it's Edgar Allan Poe's, like, additional writings, you know? Because it says, like, my hidden treasure. So maybe she stole it. Or maybe she had permission. I don't know. Anyways, let's go tell Rachel that we finished putting the paper uh, on the website. Hi, Leslie. Who's ready for Nintendo Direct? <laughs> oh, for tomorrow. Next week's Pokemon. It is. I'm here. I won't be streaming tomorrow, but... Uh, I might watch it. I don't know. If it's really, really good, I might hold off and just do a live reaction on it. So, Sunday I might watch it, but we'll see. By the way, hi, cat lover. Hey, Becca. Thanks for uploading that essay. Why did you send me that note? What note? I got a note from the black cat. A second note. I, I didn't send it. We didn't send it. The first one, yes, but that was it. If you got another note... It must be from the real black cat. Oh! No, look, I don't have any more assignments for you, so thanks for all your help. Wow, no more assignments? What does the world come to? So this is the one that she did, she gave me, but the second one wasn't from her. Wait, why didn't I keep the second one? That's weird. Interesting. Hmm. I'm here. How goes it? I'd better get going. Drop in any time. You leave for work at the same, at the time of the direct, so I might watch it while on lunch. It's not a bad idea. Just stay off social media platforms. Can't check that off yet. Check. That's done. Check. Still have to do that. Are the twins lying about being forced to do cat black cat spitting or are they telling the truth? Find out. I still don't know how to find out. Can't check that off yet. Same with the chant. Don't know what to do with the chant. Did that. Oh. Did that. Okay. All right. Let's ask Kareen about um, her essay. Like, Kareen, you, you here? Guess not. Yeah, time to snoop! Izzy password queen b1 steps to reformatting. <gasps> oh my god, how did she get? Oh my god. So she, Corrine's responsible for deleting Izzy's paper. She reformatted. Oh my god, how did she get the password? Seller. <gasps> she has the blueprints. Why did she have the blueprints? Oh, interesting. Because we have the blueprints. See, she said seller. We have the blueprints to the seller. <gasps> oh my god. So it was Kareen. Is there anything else? Is she headed to the cellar? Do we need to go to the cellar? Okay. Wow, she didn't hide that very well. All right, let's go tell Izzy. Find out what happened to my paper? I think so, yeah. So tell me. Actually, I don't want to say till I'm absolutely sure. Then we've got nothing to talk about. Dang. Maybe go to cellar, because maybe that's where Kareen is. Maybe Kareen is only, maybe she's like trying too hard <laughs> to get like the perfect photo or something. Wait, are these my footsteps? Hello? What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the other side of the wall.
Oh, here That's we go. That's interesting. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace which isn't on the modern blueprints. Mm -hmm. And the modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. Oh. Dupin? I've seen that name before in Hollowell's journal. Dupin? Okay, let me take a photo of this so I know the order. What does Dupin mean? That was in her journal? What was Dupin? Where was Dupin? Ah, Dupin's great! <gasps> Behind the Dupin's great, the Black Woods chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. <gasps> See, her hidden treasure is behind this, and we have to use the chant. <gasps> yep, we have to use the chant. Okay, all right, we gotta hit these in the correct order. So I'm thinking this is one. guessing at this point now. 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. Did I do it right? Shoot, I don't know, man. This graphic is kind of hard. Hold on, let me... Let me see if I can show it up on the stream so then this would be easier. One second, guys. Hold, please. Otherwise, this, this is gonna be too tricky. <laughs> okay, let me let me save this image. Desktop. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna add image. Desktop. Okay. So this is well. This is the image. Oh God, hold on. I took a photo, so that's why it's so big. Okay, y'all will help me figure out the order that this is in. Now keep in mind, see how there's not, you see how there's not that many? Here, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I don't want it to like hide anything. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll put it down here. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the order. So I think I'm gonna do reset because I obviously did it wrong. Okay, let me do valve reset. Okay, everything's reset. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten valves. So then on the image, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay, so there's also 10 vowels. So, I'm thinking this one is number 10, and then it goes 13, 3, 5, 2, 1, 7, 19, 4, I'm thinking, maybe not. And then 14, right? Three is five, but five is more. Yeah, that, oh. Oh, you don't think we have to hit all of them in the order? Fn? I thought we had to do, hold on. 
It says behind the creek, the Blackwoods chant shall someday reveal. So I feel like after I do this, then I have to do the chant. No, no, no. I think you're right. So we have to do three, five, 19, four, seven, two. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, instead of doing it in the order I was doing it. Okay, okay. All right, valve is reset. Okay, so three. So I think this one's three. Five. Five. Three, five, 19. 19. Yeah, that one's kind of hidden, I know. Four. Oh, this has to be it. Wait, which one is four? This one? I'm gonna assume that one. And then seven. And then two. Oh shoot, we're locked in. Oh my God, we did it. Okay, we opened the cellar. Oh my God. Whoa. Kareem? <gasps> Kareem! What are you doing here? Apparently the same thing you are. Looking for the treasure Rita Hollowell it hid. It is her. Is that it? What is it, an old manuscript? By Edgar Allan Poe, never published. He told her where it was when he was on his deathbed. When he died, she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it. Whoa. At least I think that's what happened. You found all that out while you were researching that paper? When I do research, I do research. Although truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. Which is why you became the Black Cat. I'm not the Black Cat. I didn't leave those notes. No, what? you blackmailed someone else into doing that for you. Two oh. someones, actually. You're pretty smart. She the is question it. is, are you smart enough to live to tell the tale? I don't think so. <gasps> oh, no! What? This... Oh, this pooper, man. She locked us in. Oh, God. What in the historic... <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Oh my god, I have, I, oh. What? comprehending this. So this, so this would be this. Oh God. Oh, and then it rotates, which is even more confusing. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh no. 
trap that they have laid that got violent real quick. It did. Mm. I still don't really understand. Do we have to like just keep doing it? to take away as many as possible um, but it seems like you can do the same each time I know right Tay <laughs> she hadn't done anything this bad before this that I can think of who Nancy oh, that one didn't do anything I think the bottom right one is first because the corner shapes match. But does it match when it's tilted? I think that's what we have to do. We have to basically match the correct one that's this direction. You know what I mean? So like, not this one because we need a circle in the corner. Mm, not this one either. What about this one? I don't think so. No. No, no. None of them match that circle. <laughs> there are arrows to, arrows to mark the top. Yeah. Sorry, my, bra my brain's not connecting to this one just yet. Four, three. Did you look that up, Ian? <laughs> All right, let's see. Four shapes, so try and... No, okay. <laughs> so try and take all of one shape with each thingy. Your head's about to chop off, so there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what I'm looking for. Is it like you just do any and then whichever one you do now, now that you, now you just look at what's possible? Maybe this one? Oh! Wait a second! Maybe you get rid of all like certain shapes first. Like you want, one of them you want to get rid of all of the circles. One you get rid of all the triangles. What about that? Maybe that's how we do it. No? Oh. Mm, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, each grate probably matches up for each time it spins around. things out with your nails <laughs> no it's cheating we have to die the right way Ian explain your fourth two three one if you want me to do it because I don't want to do it because I feel like <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't understand um. But you're right, 
none of them match up to the first one. It matches the shape. Number four doesn't match the shape, though. Because there's a triangle here. And if you do this one, the triangle would be right here. There's a triangle in the corner, not a circle. But I don't think any of them have a circle like that. And in, in, in that, it would have to be this one. But none of them do. Maxi, you for the 93 months. Unless it takes like half the circle. Does it do half the circle? Mix. Or it's true, Jai. Mix, thank you for the 93. How are you doing today? The color shapes in the middle match when you put the lever back. I don't understand. So now look for a circle in that corner. Like for what? This corner? This one? Oh, this one. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Two matches the square on the top right. Okay, so what is the first one? <laughs> so what what do we want to do for the for first one? Not sure, do same thing again. Bottom right is the first one you think. So this one. Let me see why. Okay, there's that one. Alright, that one's done. Bottom right's done. Now which one? This one. Maybe I, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Now top right. What about the next one? Do you mean now top right again? Oh, bottom left. Bottom left. Maybe. And then this one? theory I'm just really confused okay we can can we can keep restarting so don't worry about the <laughs> it's gonna kill us don't worry don't you worry <laughs> okay we got we got we're like a cat we have nine lives but our heads <laughs> the big circle has four square parts on each other on each corner. I, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um. Bottom right one again. It removed a lot. It did remove a lot. You're right. I'm 
sure I cheated the first time I played years ago because I have no idea. Hey, you know what? I think it's all fair. <laughs> it's also really disorienting to try to figure out where it's gonna go. I don't know. Top left. Ooh, that one took a lot. This one, no. This one? I'm gonna guess. Nope, that wasn't the right answer. I'm thinking one, two, three, four. <laughs> The little arrow on each circle shows where the top is. Yes, sorry, Gels. We already knew that part, but it's still kind of disorienting. <laughs> Let's try all 24. <laughs> so these two definitely took out a lot. Okay, that one's good. So then, which one did I try next? That one. Let's try this one next. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! I... Whatever. <laughs> I don't really care about getting that one right or not. But yay! <laughs> no, forget it. You're not going anywhere till you tell me what the heck is going on. Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. You just entered my room through the wall. I want an explanation. I'll explain later. Now let me pass. Stay right <gasps> there, Mel. You too? What is this? Let me this? pass. Well, for Kareen, oh, it's yeah, over. Yeah! Because of all the meticulous research she'd done, Kareen <laughs> knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere, leaving their rooms unoccupied. She so, was the black she resurrected cat. an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the black cat, followed by well-timed accidents. And, having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her, so that, if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. Oh. But thanks to me and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, Corrine got the blame and was promptly expelled. Wow. Which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of her. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed hey. her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance. Now, with Corrine out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown drag out between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Which is a good thing. Not pretty, but good. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Kareem made sure they got expelled too. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled and even paid their tuition and board for the rest of the year. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education, and hence should be rewarded, not punished. Yay! And you know, yeah, that's I have a the good feeling ending. Rita Hollowell, and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. That was really good. Also, hold on, let me hide this. Um, <laughs> she left us to die to get to get a left us to die to a giant swinging blade. What do you mean expelled? Get the girl in jail? Not for real. Seeing what she did to her classmates, literally 
trapping one in a closet who is known to be claustrophobic, giving one an allergic reaction, trying to get somebody um, expelled from plagiarizing. Yeah, that girl definitely needs more than just expelment. <laughs> Who won the vow? I don't I don't think they said who won, right? Or was it Megan who did? What is hanging from the ceiling of Cory? Oh, planets. It's planets. Oh shoot. I didn't get everything. All school champ keeping the double take high score. Uh bibliophile for your love of book titles, demerit danger for disregarding the rules. Man, there was an Easter egg, but I guess I never found it. Gossip monger for following up on the latest rumors. Late night explorer for after hour sneaking. What do you mean I did that? Master duelist for repeatedly challenging Leela. Oh, I guess I didn't fight her enough. Musical virtuoso for your dedicated piano practice. Short order cook keeping your fellow students fed. Shutterbug for your enthusiasm in photography. Social butterfly for constantly seeing if anyone's home. I did that. Trivia tamer for correctly answering the question. Wow. Dang. All right. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. So when I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is, oh, is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment, and I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why, I immediately say yes. But once I arrive in Tornado Alley, I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate bent on sabotage. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature, in my next adventure, Trail of the Twister. My photos! They finally care and show my photos! <laughs> they finally show up! <laughs> That's funny! Oh my god, I didn't realize they actually showed you! <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny! By the way, thanks, Say. A photography. Finally, somebody cares. They're roasting you in the com in the credits. No, I'm roasting them. <laughs> Finally, they acknowledge the artistry. Ah, oh, that was so good. Well played, Nancy Drew. That was a fun one. I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever played this one because I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Anything about this game. The twins one, that one shocked me. That was pretty dang shocking. Um, ending? I don't know. I feel like they've done better endings. I feel like the ending was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just felt like the ending was more... I don't really like that puzzle. <laughs> but there have been other harder endings, so I don't think I'm going to complain. Um, figuring out who... It was, that was a good one. After we figured out about the twins. What's going on? The Waverly Academy founders. Ooh, what a stuffy group. <gasps> oh. Hey! Oh! The black cat strikes again. Oh. We all tried, but none of us were ever able to snatch the pebble from her hand. Now, should I put this in the oops pile or the I'm so very sorry pile? What is this? Ah, the elusive, eyes closed, blurry snapshot. <laughs> Many photographers spend years perfecting this technique, but to some of us, it just comes naturally. The setting on my flash might be just a little too strong. <laughs> hmm, you call I your must pale? have been going through an abstract phase at the time. Play us off, graduation cat. I have never seen bloopers. Do they have this for every game? I, 
I don't know. I that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. I've never I've never like waited long enough to see if there's anything past Hi, the credit. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operation.